Good morning, Captain Coder here. It's another beautiful day in the desert. <clears throat> welcome back, welcome aboard. What are we doing today? We've got another day of marble physics in store. This is day eight, working on Crazy Marble, where we're exploring 3D physics using NVIDIA physics with Inside Unity. It's the default physics for a 3D project. It's the default physics for a 3D project. What have we done so far? What do we want to get done today? What are our goals? Well, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Today, our primary goal is to add in enemies. Really, these are just more obstacles, but they have a little bit more, a uh, little bit more flavor to them than the normal ones. Smab, hello, my friend. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I think it's a good afternoon for you, though. Good afternoon, Smab. Thanks for being here. Welcome back to the crew. Smab is one of the the longest members, longest members of the crew. So happy to have you have you back. Yes, happy Tuesday. How are you doing today, Smab? And Moon is Moon is and um, Royal C Dub Gaming. Welcome back. Welcome aboard. Happy to have you here as well. They got they were here before I even started the stream. It was beautiful. They they knew it was coming. The anticipation. The anticipation was killing them. They had to be there. But today, what are we gonna do? We're gonna add in some enemies. I'm gonna create level seven. We're gonna design level seven, calling this one guards, because there's gonna be two types of enemies. We got stompy enemies. These are like thwomps. They're gonna be like thwomps. They sort of sit above you. And when you get close, when you get close, they're gonna whomp, drop down and then they'll slowly go up and then you can pass them. The thwomps are gonna go down. We're gonna have some jumpy enemies. And the jumpy enemies are going to sort of have a patrol where they jump between different, you know, they'll have they'll have sort of like several waypoints and they'll jump between those waypoints. It won't follow the player around, but they'll just have waypoints that they jump between. And if they land on you, you get you done. You're done. Reldy Sib says won't be on for long because of school. My school has no tech class. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. So sorry to hear you have no tech class. Um, but I'm glad you're here. I'm glad to have you for as little, as, as long, as much as we can, as much as we can. And don't forget, if you ever want to, you can go back, rewatch it on the archive over on YouTube. You're on YouTube though, so you know that. You know that. I wouldn't be surprised if you're one of my uh, my long-term viewers on YouTube. I get I get a lot of view time on YouTube these days. People rewatching the old series, which has been really really cool to see. You can see, you know, like day one will have one view and then the next day day two will have one view then the next day day three will have one view it's kind of cool to watch i try not to be too obsessed with analytics but when uh sometimes i can't help myself sometimes i can't help myself it's really cool to see to see that what i'm doing people are getting some value out of it. that's the whole thing i'm trying to add value I'm trying to add value to 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 the world right that should be that should be a goal that a lot of people a goal that's that's a strong word a goal. It feels good to add value to the world. And that's that's what's something I want to do. Uh, Royal C says, you can save your videos on Twitch too. I think you're right. I can save them on Twitch. Um, the analytics aren't as good on Twitch, but I also think that there's like a 14 day limit. You can't have them there the whole time. So the videos are there right now. I think I have it on the max setting. They stick around as VODs on Twitch for about, I think, 14 days. Moonness says, my current goal is to improve literally everything that I do regarding streaming and YouTube. Nice, nice. That's a good goal. That's a good goal. And the best part about that type of goal is you have control over it. Sometimes goals are, you know, if you set a goal like, well, I want to get, this is why, you know, I, I see follower goals and stuff. My, me personally, uh, you know, I would be like a setting a follower of getting 500 followers. I have no control over that. I really have no control of whether or not someone follows me or not. I actually am not that interested in, I mean, I, it's been kind of cool having followers, but it's not, not my primary goal. But let's see, let's check it out. Let's see if we can beat, we implemented the Tower of Bullying yesterday. I did manage to beat it yesterday, but let's check out what we have so far. All right, so we're down here on this, at the bottom platform, let's roll up. I'm using my uh, Xbox controller here, my Xbox controller. We're gonna come in. Oh, uh, trying to get the rave information over. Hang on. If we do rave, we got to do it on Twitch. 
Twitch for some reason. Let's see, does that does that get us the information about Rave? I want I need to add that to the other bot as well. All right, we're gonna cross post that. There we go. Uh, Royal C Dub, thank you so much for 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 noticing that today's stream is brought to you by the letter R. R is for Ravier. It is who is currently making a space trucking game called Unforgiven Space. His goal is to make a game that comes out. He wants it to release before Star Citizen. Um, and I think we can do it. Tawny, happy Tuesday, my friend. Welcome back. Welcome aboard. We're going to see if we can beat this level. I already got a slow start here. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to... Uh, not sure I'm going to be able to get through this level with the amount of time we have left. But I last we left off last time at the end of the stream being unable to do it. And so we're going to see if we can get it this time. Oh, too fast. Too fast. All right, let's try. Here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. TOS Studio says, I tried to play it. It would be cool if we could play all the levels. Yeah, I got to add in a level select screen, don't I? The other levels, don't, there's not much there yet, no. This is the only level that has any real substance. There's, the, there's a lot of things we got to do. All right, all right, I gotta focus. We gotta focus, here we go, here we go. Oh! I do need to make it so if you're underneath it, it'll squash you. Oh! Oh! Let's try it again, let's try it again. Um, a lot of people complaining that the mouse controls are inverted, and I just thought that was the way people played games. They're also very, very sensitive. Um, so we'll have to potentially deal with that at some point. Add in a, a settings menu. Maybe maybe today if we get, that's one of the bonus options is add in a settings menu to allow changing the mouse inversion and the uh, mouse sensitivity. That would be a good, a good thing to do. All right, we made it up here. All right, now to the wall of punishment senior. Here we go. Uh, uh. All right, and, oh, come on. Okay, we got this, we got this. You gotta believe. Lend me your strength, lend me your strength. We gotta, we gotta get through it, you gotta believe. You gotta believe. Do, do you believe in me? Just tell me you believe in me. If you don't believe in me, why are you even here? Why are you even here? Mouse controls, are, yeah, they're very sensitive. Um, I, I guess I like mouse hat being inverted because the mouse controls feel correct to me. Um, but a lot of people don't like the inverted mouse controls as the default. So we need to add in a settings menu for that. Here we go. Here we go. Stop there. Oh. Come on. All right, Moonness, thank you for believing in me. Your strength brought me here today. Your strength has brought me into where I am so far. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Oh, I need to slow down. Right, I need to calm down. I got 60 seconds. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I will say that I've said it a couple times. The ratio of, of implementation difficulty versus fun is very high. There, This game was very, very... So far, very quite easy to implement and it's so much fun. I've enjoyed playing. All right, we made it through the level. You've seen everything I've made at this point. We got flamethrowers, we got launchers, we got pushers, and we got moving platforms. We did it. We done diddled it. Since you're here for this momentous occasion, since you're here for this momentous occasion, 100 points to everybody for watching me, seeing me finish it. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a good time. I hope you're having a good time. But what are we doing today? What are we doing today? We are gonna add in some levels. So we're gonna design a level first. We're gonna design ourselves a level. Tani checks his points. Johnny, uh, <laughs> Royal C Dub Gaming. Uh, Tani checked the points. Rank seventeen. Rank seventeen. Royal C Dub. Where did you get your models and textures? Uh, so all of the models I've models, if you can call them models, have been made in in Unity themselves. So this is just a sphere model. The other stuff I'm using Pro Builder. And then all of the, uh, I think all of the textures and assets are 100% AI generated. Um, using a mixture of Dolly, um, Dolly, 
Leonardo AI and uh, whatever, let's see, generate texture generator and then polycam. So polycam is how I generated the textures, all right? But all the models were made using ProBuilder inside of Unity itself. All right, but what are we gonna do now? We're gonna design our next level, level seven, level seven guard. So let's get, my battery's running low on this. I gotta get a charger for my, uh, my, my thing. Real quick, add a skybox. Tommy says, add a skybox outside the scope. Too much work, too much work. Pro Builder, good question. Pro Builder is a tool you can add in. All right, that lets you basically build shapes. So all of these are made with Pro Builder. Uh, so you come in, you can do things like this. I can select a new shape and say, okay, well, we're gonna add a, 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 a square or a platform like this. Oh, I've selected the wrong thing. Um, let's say I wanted to do a cube click and drag and then drag it out and extrude it. Let's say I wanted to add some additional stuff to it. I could grab this side, hold shift, drag it out and say, okay, well, then I want this face to come out over this way. And then this face to come back out this way. So it lets you sort of do very, very quick, easy, simple 3D um, models. Very, very simple 3D models. So this is Pro Builder. You can get it, it's not even in the asset store, it's part of Unity's uh, package registry. Fabulous, this is the first time I've used it on this project. Fabulous, fabulous tool. Let us hop in now. We're gonna design ourselves level seven. Level seven, we do need to add a skybox, Tani. We do need to add a skybox. You don't like, well, well, how will people know I made it in Unity if I don't just leave the default Unity background in there? Tani says, just, a, just download an asset, put in the screen, in the scene. It looks much better than the gray abyss. Rel C Dub Gaming, yes, it is free. It is free. It is free. All right, so level seven. Level seven. Gods. Gods. We got some gods here. All right, so here's the idea. We're going to have our player... We're gonna have our player starting starting down. Again, let's, I don't know why. Maybe, maybe they should start at the top of something and roll down. That kind of makes sense as a marble, right? To go down. Someone someone told me, marbles can't jump. Marbles can't jump. Why is your marble jumping? That doesn't make sense. And my response was, you never had a pet marble growing up? My marble could jump. Oh, you're correct. You're correct. <laughs> you are correct. Gods. Did I spell it correct in my, uh, in my, hang on, hang on. I spelled it correct here. All right. I got it right the first time. Look, Smab, if I smell it, if I smell it both ways, no, if I spell it both ways, then, then that means I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I didn't, I knew it was spelled that way. I just was testing you. I was testing you, Smab. Uh, okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna add in, this is gonna be our start platform. Be real careful here. I'm getting much, I'm getting, look how good I'm getting at drawing, drawing uh, cube shapes on a grid. Ooh, if I'm real careful here. All right. So this is gonna be our start platform. Let me draw my marble on there. Start, that way we know. That's where we're gonna start. All right. That's right, Moon is. That's right, Smab passed the test. Smab passed the test. We're gonna make it, so the first thing you gotta do is you gotta fall down to this other platform. Put another platform below this. Do, 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 draw, draw some little guidelines so I know. Make it, you make it fall on down. All right, now, now that I'm drawing in a second, second platform, I'm having trouble. This one's gonna be a little bit longer. Again, this is just to build out Various mechanics. This level doesn't have to be as good. That Tower of Bullying was really, really fun. I'm not gonna lie, the Tower of Bullying was very, very fun to implement. We're gonna roll down here. We're gonna have a Thwomp type character. Thwomp. I'm calling. I'm calling him a Stompy. All right. So Stompy is gonna be a cube. We might figure out how to add rounded edges. I don't know how to do that. We might figure out how to, round, how to add rounded edges. So a thwomp-like character. 
It's gonna have a mean face. Like that. You like that drawing? You like that drawing? Maybe it'll have a mean face on each of its sides. Like that. And so this guy is gonna start raised up. Hang on, let's let's do that. Let's move him raised up. We can animate this. Watch, check it out. Check it out. We can animate it. He's gonna start up here. You see him up there? And as the marble gets closer, it's real C-Dub Gaming. Have a beautiful day, my friend. As always, keep coding, keep growing, and you're welcome back anytime. When the marble gets close, it's gonna it's gonna shake. Ah, and then it's gonna jump down on it. Alright, so we got a stompy stomperson. That's we're gonna use to stomp the marble. Alright, so this is our stompy. Stompy. Not thwomp. Ooh, ooh, maybe we should call it thwompy. Do you think I could get in trouble if I call it thwompy instead of stompy? Alright, so we're gonna have we're gonna have some stompies. They when you get close, it MMO pug. Happy mon happy Tuesday, my friend. Welcome back. Welcome aboard. Alright, so that's the first that's the first thing we're gonna implement. It falls when you get close to it. So it's gonna have sort of a some kind of detection radius that detects if you're near it. It's gonna fall down and it slows slowly rises back up. All right, now we have another platform you can fall down onto. Another platform you can fall down onto. This one's gonna have smaller enemies. It's gonna have smaller enemies. Um, all I think also cubes because you know I'm not I'm no 3D modeler. I'm no 3D modeler. TOS2 says the town reminded me of the show Wipeout. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. Gonna get even better with more obstacles. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So this one is gonna have various paths. All right. So there's gonna be like two of these guys maybe, but this one is gonna have waypoints. Smab says by the time you finish this game, all you have to do is add multiplayer and you'll you'll have fall guys. Look, Smab. Smab. Hang on. Hang on, were you not here? Were you not here? How? You gotta, look, look, way back here. Look how far back we gotta go. To. No, no multiplayer. Are you insane? I need to have, I need to put that right on my, like, that needs to just stay on my screen. Stay on my screen. No pull multiplayer. <laughs> no. No, you said no multi. You gotta know multiplayer. You gotta know how to do multiplayer. Gotcha, gotcha. No multiplayer. No insanity. I look. I'm losing my marbles enough. I've lost enough marbles doing this this simple version. All right. So level seven. This guy is gonna be smaller. This guy is gonna be smaller. This one's gonna have different waypoints that it hops between. So we might have it go in squares like this, but it'll have, it'll have waypoints that you set and it'll jump between those. So it'll be a timer. It'll, it'll jump, 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 it'll jump. And you can have multiple of them on this one here. So maybe we have guys going like this and then they'll have, they'll be offset. So they'll jump in sort of like this square patterns that you have to roll through. So that's my idea. We got a jumpy enemy, we got a stompy, and then we got a jumpy. We can finish that today. I will be very, very happy. MMO Pug says, roll into a cannon, aim the cannon and fire to a target location. That would be cool. That would be really cool. It's outside of the, yes. All right, so let me say once again, once again, if you're not on the Discord, if you, all these suggestions are awesome. So many good suggestions. If you're not on the Discord, I think most of you are, but if you're not on the Discord, that's the play. You don't have to join. Look, you don't have to join. If you wanted to join our community, it's a fun little place. We're having a lot of fun hanging out, chatting over there, asking, asking for help, learning, learning lots of cool stuff, learning lots of cool things. Um, turn off this document. Can suggestions? I love these suggestions. I love them. I'm gonna forget them though. So you're gonna, if you want to, hop on the Discord. Hop on that Discord down here. We've got the marble, crazy marble form. Create a new post. Let me know what you want to see. But our design document right now does not have that as much as I want to do it. But this is that's it's mostly for me. Keep myself from losing my marbles. We've decided to have a <clears throat> um, design document this time where we're saying, okay, we're only going to do the things that are in the design document. 
There's more things. After we finish the things in the design document, <clears throat> we'll reevaluate. We'll reevaluate. But MMO plug, excellent, excellent idea. I love it. I love it. Love, 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 love it. Thank you so much for that suggestion. All right. So with that said, we got to make a new level. Going to make a new level here. All right. Here's how I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to steal our level six. Still our level six. It's gonna be let's save it. We're gonna make our level seven. Alright, in level seven, let's go ahead and disable hide our canvas. It kept getting in my way last time. Alright, and let's start by designing the level out. Alright, so we're gonna get rid of everything. Tower of bullying. Goodbye, tower. Don't have to don't you can't bully me anymore. Alright, get rid of our elevator. And cube, look at all these hazards. These were fun to make, man. All right, hazards go away. All right, so we got our starting point. So this is where our player goes. We're gonna move. We're gonna have our player start higher. In this game, we're gonna roll downward, rolling downward. All right, so we're gonna move both of these. Can I move two things at once? Can I move two things? I want to move them both. I want. You both to move. Ah, not what I want. All right, let's move the the startup. I don't know why this is. All right, we're gonna start here. Dramulks, my friend, welcome back. Welcome back to the crew. So nice to have you here. How are you doing? How are you doing? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be in the world. So nice to see you here. So so nice to have you back. Have you aboard? Dramalk says, I'm doing all right. A bit tired. Bit tired. That's okay. That's okay. I hope I hope you're able to get some sleep soonish. Soonish. Um, but thank you for popping in. It's nice to have you here on this beautiful, beautiful Tuesday. I'm I'm so lucky to have such an awesome set of people, such an awesome crew with me here to witness witness the creation of some crazy marbling all right so we got a platform this is our start platform we're gonna add in a uh, another platform below this one all right um hang on hang on to get this all positioned nice actually here's what i'm gonna do zero zero uh zero let's move it to zero 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 move our player after i moved it up like that don't judge me after i moved it up like that all right let's start it at zero 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 that way, when I do my snapping, it all just sort of snaps nicely into, into places. Grandma says, played a bit of the tower bowling. It was really fun. Yeah, I had a great time with it. Um, hope the controls weren't too awkward. Mooney says, I hope you found the find and replace function, Dram. I rarely need to use it, so I didn't know the hot king. Yeah, I found it and replaced it in no time. Sweet. This is an, um, it's either an inside joke or you're referring to uh, something in Rider. Dremel said, had to remove a method which was used 82 times. Oh, I saw you guys talking about that. I re Yeah, I saw you guys talking about it. I, I asked about um, if Rider, if it's, search and replace all right we're gonna have this over here if the search and replace also updated unity events um because that's a pain that i have run into all right we're gonna get make this let's get a new material let's get a new material what type of material do we want today let's go with let's go with let's go with a uh moss mossy stone Tani says, this just reminded me of level five world two. Level five world two, not sure. Not sure what you're referring to, Tani. Level five world two of what? Is that a Batman? Is that a dark knight? Level five world two of the dark knight? Does the dark knight have stompy, stompy things? Um, that's an interest, look at this. this. That's an interesting texture it generated. Ooh, that one's, that one's nice. 
Oh, it was a joke from yesterday's chat. Yeah. I wasn't here yesterday, so I, I didn't I didn't quite get that one. So you'll have to fill me in on what happened yesterday, because I don't think I was here. Was I here? Do you guys know? Was I here yesterday? You guys remember if I was here or not? Can't remember. Sometimes I miss Captain Coder's stream. All right. Let us let us look here. Smap says it was in the captain's chat yesterday. Oh, I don't read the chat. I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't actually read the chat. I've never read it a day in my life. Um, seven zip extract two. Tony says you were here. I think I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. The captain's the captain's a little little too much for me. Got got a lot of energy going on. I like to be relaxed, chill. Ghost Mips says, where to get grid material? Unity is binding me with those thin line grid. Um, where to get grid material? Someone sent me a link. I can't remember. <laughs> Moon is streamer doesn't read ASCII chat. Quick post funny ASCII images. Um, TOS Studio says you were here just on the wrong side of the screen. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. I was on, the wrong, I was on this side and you guys are on that side. Ghost Mips, let me see if I can figure out. Someone sent me, I think it was Unity Coder. Unity Coder, if you're here, where did I get my grids? Someone sent me a grid generator. Grid generator. Um, texture gen, there it is. Let's bookmark this bad boy. It was this one, Unity Coder for the win. Unity Coder, add points. Unity Coder here saving us 50 points to Unity Coder. Thank you so much. Yeah, this, this, and you can turn off the uh, letters and arrows. This is how I generated my grids. That's how I did it. I done did it this way. Thanks to our good friend here, Unity Coder. Thank you very much, Tani. Tani, is that a threat? No threats in my stream chat. No threats in my stream chat. I'll get you, Tani says. I in Unity Coders, 9,954 9, points. All right. We're going to add in a material. Create a folder. I did it. Moon is. Did you see it? Did you see it? Did I misclick? Did I misclick? I had to click folder twice. All right, we're gonna call this Mossy. Unicoder says, Moon is, time to go shopping in Captain Store. Lots of cool stuff. I need to figure out what else to put in there. Code Red Games, happy Tuesday, my friend. Welcome aboard. Welcome back to the crew. Welcome back to the crew. Um, so happy to have you here. All right, we're creating a material. Creating a material. This is our mossy material. It's got this albedo. All right, let's go ahead and add that in there. And it's got this normal. Can we make this shiny? I like. Does metallic make it? I don't want it metallic, but I, I don't want it metallic, but I want it shiny. Is there a way to make it shiny, but not metallic? Oh, that looks okay. Shiny, but not metallic. Someone, someone, may, ooh. Oh, I like the, the, the brighter yellow on there a little bit too. All right, I like that. I like that, that looks good. TOS says, I'm missing out on points. Time to start twitching and lurking. Yeah, yeah, twitch and lurk, twitch and lurk. That's how you get the points. Unicoder, I, Muna says, Unicoder, I could probably buy something and still be number one. Uni, Unicoder, <laughs> Moon is, Moon is, I don't know if there's enough room in here with all those muscles that you're flexing. Be careful about how much you flex, Moon, as it could, could trap us all in and suffocate us. Um, Unique curses if you add reflection probe to seeing more amazing shininess. All right, a reflection probe. How do I add a reflection probe? Is that a light? Reflection probe. Ooh, I've never done this. I've never done this. What does a reflection probe do? It scares me. It scares me. There's all these words over here that I've never seen. There's all these words over here that I don't know what they mean. Shadow distance skybox. Ah. 
I don't know. I don't know. It scares me. All right, outside the scope. Outside of scope, we gotta focus. We gotta focus. All right. Try not to add new things, but I'm gonna add that to my never ending list of things to learn about in Unity. Definitely, definitely gonna learn about it. Cause so we gotta learn. All right, can I make it down there? Is that something I can jump to? Ah, Moon says Reflection Pro bakes the light into it for optimized reflections on scene. Can I make it down there if I jump? I can. Okay. So we're going to leave it there so we can jump down to it. It requires you to bake a light map. Look, look, I'm no cook. I don't know how to cook. I've never cooked a day in my life. And here you are telling me I need to bake things to be a game developer now. I'm, I'm not having it. I don't want to bake. I want to make a game. I want to make a game. I don't want to cook. If someone wanted to bake me a pie, though, I do like pie. Tony says, reminds me of that one Carlson devlog where Danny spent the whole episode baking lights. Uh, Unix says, or post processing green space reflections. Does your P have that? It's a good question. I have no idea. But our good friend Moon is Mike. For anyone who doesn't know, for anyone who doesn't know, Moon is, is also a streamer. Moon is, is a, what I like to call a real game developer. If you are not currently following Moon this, you should be. You should be real quick. Direct your attention to the chat, please. Direct your attention to the chat. Hit that little love button. Give Moon this some love. Moon is has taught me well. Moon is I was gonna say Moon has taught me everything I know, but but you guys just saw Unity Coder taught me a thing or two as well. But Moon is, I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be the coder I am today. I wouldn't be making the games I make today without the help of Moon is. Moon is has been talking me through it all the way <clears throat> so moon is thank you so much make sure you guys go check out moon is a stream good stuff happening there all right so there's gonna be a thwompy guy on here maybe two maybe two thwompy guys all right then we're gonna have another platform below this one there'll be another platform below this one call this thwomp, uh not thwompy these are stompy stompy row all right and then this one's gonna be uh, jumpy jumpy lane and then we'll do one that's sort of a combination of the two ah uh, that's not what i want jumpy lane let's move you down jumpy lane jumpy lane is in my blood da, 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 da. don't want to get copyright strike gotta be careful got don't want to get dmca gotta be careful about how close i get the lyrics yeah that's it gotta be careful about how close i get oh all right, jumpy lane. We're coming for you, jumpy lane. Well, I might've put this too low. Um, let's move you back up just a little bit. Adjust a little bit like this. And adjust this side here. All right, and then you gotta jump. Oh. Grab the whole thing. Move it this way. Um, Moon has said reflection posts are not affected by screen space reflection. Hey, that Moon is guy. It's kind of cool. I recommend him. Yeah, yeah. Definitely recommend that Moon is guy. I said I checked him out yesterday. Can't affirm. He's cool. Got a bunch of emojis. No DMCA's. No DMCA's. Only YMCA's. That's right. That's right. Only YMCA's. Only YMCA's. Let us come in here, stretch this out. All right, so this is gonna be our jumpy jumperson area. So this is gonna be jumpy lane, jumpy lane. Okay, and then we'll have one more platform. Let's see, is that right? one more platform? Um, and this one's gonna be dumpy meets jumpy. So we'll have we'll have some bolt both of them on this one. All right, and we got to do this and this. Ooh, we got to make sure that the player can't can't just fall down to that one. So we'll we'll put it out this way. So you can't make so hopefully you can't get to it. Hopefully you can't get to it. But sometimes it's 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 interesting to see if you can get to it. Okay, this is where we go next. 
All right, we'll 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 shrink this down a little bit. I'm gonna make it a little tight. There's gonna be jumpies and stompies here. Jumpies and stompies. All right, and then we'll put, we'll put the finish right here. Put the finish, our goal. All right, where is this? This, let's copy. Copy this position. We'll paste this position in. Bring me the end of the level. Bring it to me. All right, then we gotta resize it. Hang on, that's interesting. Did I extrude this thing? Oh, I did. Can I delete just part of the extrusion? Um, reset shape. There we go. Reset shape did it. Um, and let us move this. Let us move gold trigger. Hang on. We want to add in a box, box collider. Copy the size, copy it. Paste it on here. Paste. Paste. Paste values. All right, now we can move this over here, which will be our little exit platform. Look at it, look at us go. All right, gotta do a little hippity hop to get there. All right, let's make sure we can make all the jumps. Let's make sure we can make all the jumps real quick. And then that's gonna be sort of the level design. That's gonna be the level design for us. So not a crazy level. All right, we can roll there. Oh, I'm good at this game. Arion, hello. Happy Tuesday, my friend. Welcome back. Welcome back to the crew. Welcome aboard. Oh man, I inverted them. I changed the mouse controls because people were asking me to invert them. Things are going fabulous, my friend. How are you? How are you today? Happy Tuesday. Can I make it? I can. No big deal. Oh, it's a little harder than I thought. All right, so we can't, we're going to be able to make it there. But this is sort of our next level here. It looks beautiful. Look how beautiful this level is, everybody. It's always nice. It's always nice to try and set up, set up <clears throat> that first one. That first, that first little thing you got to get out in your to-do list. It's nice to make it easy. Boom, design level seven. We got the design done. Arian says, I'm just chilling. Had a long day, maybe because I've been sitting down the entire day. Smab says, rather than just inverting the mouse, you could probably make that an option. Yes, Smab. Yeah, look at that. Look at that bonus number one at a settings menu. Mouse sensitivity and mouse inversions. Absolutely. Absolutely, Smab. We need to do that. We need to. But for now, for now, we're going to, we're going to keep, we're gonna keep pushing that one off. We're gonna keep pushing that one off. But yes, absolutely, it needs to be a, 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 a setting for mouse sensitivity and uh, mouse controls, uh, inversions on both the X and Y axes. All right, we got that first task done. And for, if you were here, if you just witnessed this, good for you, thank you for being here. 50 points for witnessing us make it this far all 12 of you thank you for being here so happy to have you aboard for this momentous occasion where we've designed our level we've designed our, should we change this one to, let's make this one sandstone yeah this one's gonna be sandstone sandstone all right so we got grass sandstone grass all right Sam says, please tell me that when you implemented the inversion, you left it as a switch based on defined constant. Yes, yeah, Smab, I didn't even have to. Look, boom, invert, 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 invert. Easy, easy, simple, easy, simple. All I got to do is add in a little trigger that says when you click that, it updates it here. Exactly, Smab. I didn't even have to implement it. Comes with, comes with it by default, which is beautiful. Beautiful. It's not in the code yet. Yeah, there's no code for it, so it'll be nice and easy to do. Um, hang on, something came up here. A material is using the texture as a normal map. Um, oh, oh, we gotta fix that. Hang on, I messed something up. I messed something up. Materials, mossy, mossy, normal. What did I do, two? I didn't get so, I did something weird. All right, I, I like it, okay, there we go. 
There we go. All right, so now we're going to design our enemies. We're going to design ourselves a Stompy Boy. A Stompy Boy. Let's go get... Did I set it to normal? It, it, it automatically updated it for us, so a little error popped up. Good question. Good question. A little error popped up saying, hey, by the way, your normal isn't set to be a normal, and so it fixed it for us. So it worked out. Worked out for us. Unity was like, hey, 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 dummy, hey. It's like, what? what's that little, the little fairy, Navi? Hey, listen, your normal map is not a normal map. Sam says, I'm only half paying attention, reading the manual for my new phone to be delivered in the future. Sam, what's, what, what, reading the manual, reading the manual, don't read a manual, don't, readings for suckers. Readings for suckers. Programmers don't read manuals. It's insanity. It's insanity. Real programmers stream and have people yell solutions at them. And by yell, I mean type them loudly. And by loudly, I mean ignore all suggestions. Moon says, just reprogram the phone to work as you want it to. Yeah, that's the ticket. That's it. What's this? Package cache is invalidated. All right. Well, I'm going to clear that. But we're going to de design ourselves a thwompy enemy. So our thwompy enemy is essentially... <laughs> Smap says bad programmers don't read manuals. Fair enough. That's true. All right, so we're going to create a little empty here for enemies. A little empty here for enemies. And I'm going to create in... Let's move this so it's in world space there. And we're going to create a new um, stompy. Ooh, ooh, I like it. Stompy Stomperson. There we go. Stompy Stomperson. Tony says, I just made my first ever Instagram post. Gotta keep up with the kids nowadays. I wanted the internet points. I don't know. Uh, Instagram's interesting. Social media is interesting. Social media kind of freaks me out. Moon says, Instagram is where boomers hang out now. TikTok is where kiddos hang out now. Uh, TikTok freaks me out, too. That's how you know I'm a, all right, so we gotta make, hang on, let's look, I want my, this platform, you can't, I want you to be able to roll around the thwomps, sorry, the stomps, the stomps. So this platform might be too wide. Um, no, I think this platform's the right size. Okay, so our stomps, let me just move my player in there, get my player closer so I can see how big my stomp is compared to my player. Um, <laughs> Mr. Natural, boom, 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 I'm a boomer, booming all my way through the booming, boom, 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 I'm a boomer. All right, here we go. I used Instagram at some point. Social media, I'm kind of off of it. One of the best decisions I think I ever made was getting off social media. All right, this will be our stompy scene. This big old rectangle. Big old rectangle. All right, how big is it today? I want it to be negative three. Can we roll past this? Let's check it out. Now it says, good program spend five days making a function and then find out it already exists as a built-in function. It's called a learning experience. Uh-oh. That's a learning experience, Tani. All right. I think that's okay. If you can, you can roll past it, but it'll be hard to get that exact exact roll size. I think we're going to leave it like that. Okay. So be our stompy. And let's make him 5, 4.25 tall. Seemed okay. We'll click him up one step. And we're going to add in real quick question. Does anyone know, can I take a texture and apply it to just one side or do I have to add in? What do I have to do if I want a texture just on one side? Do I have to make a special, special thing? All right, but we're gonna go, we're gonna go generate a face and see if we can put it on here. Muna says you need a UV map. Ooh, UV map, that sounds fancy. That sounds fancy, we're gonna create a material. New folder, it's gonna be our stompy stomperson. All right, so I don't know what a UV map is. Is it something I can create here? A suggestion to add a plane the same size, just in front, because that's simpler. Thought an optical gravity well. 
Mr. Natural says, thought of an obstacle, a gravity well. Gravity well would be good. Gravity well would be good. I love the suggestions. It's outside of our current scope, but definitely, definitely post it on the Discord. So if we just, yeah, so that's probably what I'll do. It'll just be a little bit easier to put a plane on the side so I can add a face to it. All right, so real quick though, I'm gonna make this, this time a pro builder window has some UV editor, but plane is easier, certainly. That's what I've done in the past. So I made like a dungeon crawler type thing and the walls I just had, rather than being cubes, the room was just several planes and then I could set each wall individually. Real quick, we're gonna generate, we're gonna generate a, uh, cement slab see what we get if we generate a cement slab when it says uv map is a 2d representative of the 3d model unwrapped and then you modify the image to look very position ah ah yeah so i've seen that so you have you have your um i guess i guess you'd call it a texture but your texture is set to a specific shape and it, it's a picture that has that you just sort of like wrap it around yeah all right hands you can stop you can stop moving come on camera Come on camera, find me. It found me. Mr. Natch says a whack-a-mole level. Yeah, yeah, whack those moles. Whack them. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. I like this one. Tony says Stompy needs to have googly eyes. I like, yes, yes. Whack, we should, oh, what we should have done, we should have made a wacky, wavy, inflatable arm guy that whips around and slaps you. That would be fun to make. That I don't know, fun to make. Fun to make might not be the right word. That'd be fun to have. <laughs> I'd say that would be fun to have. Um, we're gonna create a new folder here. This is gonna be our um, cement texture. Cement, and we'll put this in there real quick. Bear with me. Bear with me, 7-zip extract here. Exactly, Dramos. Just remind me of the Family Guy's wacky inflatable commercial. Um, Moon is maybe easy for you. Maybe easy for you, but it's definitely something I think would be fun to do. I don't think it would be in, in, incredibly difficult. Easy's relative. Not so. So the question is: Is it trivial? It's non-trivial. Easy and trivial. The, you know the difference between easy and trivial is massive, is massive. Oops, that one I wanted. All right, easy and trivial. Big difference, big old difference there. All right, material. This is our cement. Yeah, Dramos, it takes 15 minutes. Moon is, you already described more than one step. That means it's non-trivial. <laughs> All right, we're gonna add this albedo in. Let's get our cement albedo. We'll add in our normals. Normals and fix now. Look at that, there's that fix now button. Um, yeah, yeah, so I think that would be really cool to do. The reason, you know, you may have noticed the reason I chose these specific enemies is they're rel they're, these are truly trivial. It's a cube. It's a cube. Real quick, does anyone know if there's an easy way to get rounded corners? Rounded corners, if it's easy to do, I'd do it. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna leave it alone. Moon says they should really add more fix now bugs to fit, <laughs> especially when there's bugs in the code. Yeah, it's the easy button. Fix me. Just fix it. Um, Moon says select the face option, the scene view in the top middle face option then select the edges and press bevel and pro builder select do i select all right so i select face or ed, uh edge option okay edge option all right if i select all bevel bevel add a bevel Um, I probably just set too much bevel edges. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, let's go point one. Beautiful. Moon is my friend. Thank you so much for that. For your assistance. Moon is 50 points, 
50 points for teaching me a new thing with a whopping, a whopping 12,000 points. Tony says it's easy. You just make multiple rigid bodies and connect them with joints. Yes. A whopping, whopping with a, with a, a loud H in there. Thank you so much for that. I like it. I like it. Oh, and we got to put this inside of our stompy stomper synth. Now to add in a plane. Tani says, I'm after you. I have a, Tani has a specific set of skills. He has a specific set of skills. All right, so we are gonna add in a new shape. We're gonna add a plane on the front here. Um, I believe this is a plane tool. And can will it snap? There it goes. We're gonna have it snap here. And then bring, come on, come on, come on. All right, we're zoomed in too much. Plane. I don't want to zoom in that much. Why can't, why is the zoom? It's, do I turn off snap? My snap, why is the zoom zooming so much? Why is it so zoomy? I don't want to zoom that much. I just want to zoom a little, just a gentle zoom. Just as gentle zoom. All right, here we go. Put that plane in there. We're gonna call this base. And I think we gotta like scooch it out just a hair, don't we? Just a hair or something. Moon um, says, try and select an object, press F. Oh, there it goes. Interesting, why was the zoom that way? Thank you, Moon I appreciate it. It did, it did, it worked. What if uh, what if I were to somehow get 12,000 points because the cap misclicked? No misclick for you, Tani. No misclick for you. All right, so the face we put there. I imagine there's gonna be some interesting clipping things. So I'm gonna scooch it out. What direction is this? This is the X direction. So we're gonna go four nine yeah just massive <laughs> drama skip tani one point <laughs> oh drama drama i don't know how i feel about that <laughs> all right we're gonna go generate a, an angry face to put on this we're gonna generate ourselves an angry face um, Tani, that's one point closer to victory. <laughs> Moon is runs the take points command and takes points from Tani. Yes, do it. I need to add that in. Add it in. Oh, I think there's like some built into stream elements. I don't know if it's on, but I think there's a way to, uh, to like bet points. You can gamble the points, I think. Aishiru says, what are you building today? Good. Good question. Give me a second here. I'm logging in to um, an AI generator, uh, but I'd love to walk you through what we're doing today. Welcome back, Ishairu. Happy Tuesday, my friend. Happy, good morning from, from me to you. Good afternoon or good evening, wherever you happen to be in the world. Um, but yeah, we are working on Crazy Marble still. Crazy Marble. And we're seeing if we can, uh, let's see, where is it? I gotta log in. We're, we're adding in some enemies. We're adding in some enemies. How are you? How are you doing? All right, let's get ourselves logged in here. <laughs> I don't know how any of these commands work. Um, I don't know how it works. All right, one sec. Let me see if I can activate that for you. I turned it off because it scared me. All right, Moon is. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. I'm going to the, the, the Stream Elements platform. That's not an I, it's an L. It's not an I, it's an L. Oh, it's uh, El Shiro. Are we sure it's not an I? All right, let us come down into our chat commands. Let's see, there's a dual. All right, we got the cancel dual command only works when the dual mode is enabled. All right, I think it's enabled. Give it a shot. I have no idea what it does. I have no idea what it does, but let's see if, if it ruins, if it gets me banned from Twitch. 
Daniel, my friend, welcome aboard. Happy Tuesday. It's so nice to have you. Um, it's an eye. See, Tony, it is an eye. The eye knows. The eye knows. Mr. Natural says, 8 Ball, does Captain know what he's doing? The 8 Ball says, Outlook good. <laughs> Outlook's good. Um, <laughs> uh, fascinating. All right. Well, madness is going to ensue here. Madness shall ensue. Fascinating. Fascinating. All right. Ishai Rude, let's check it out. <clears throat> let's, real quick, I'm going to turn on my document camera so you can see what we're doing. My Remarkable keeps going to sleep because the battery's low. It's got 2% here, so we're going to see if we can get through. Today, today we're trying to make level 7 here in our marble game. Level 7, we're going to add in enemies. So we have two types of enemies. We're going to have a stompy enemy that when you get close, it stomps down on you, tries to crush you. And we're going to have a second type of enemy that's a jumpy enemy that has sort of these waypoints. You can specify different spots for it to jump through, and it'll just jump between those points. All right, so that's what we're trying to do today. That's what we're trying to do today. We've been making a marble game. Um, so we've designed the level. So we made this level layout. So there's going to be stompy enemies here. Oh, oh, let me turn this off. There's going to be stompy enemies here. There's going to be jumpy enemies here, and there's going to be a stompy enemy and jumpy enemies here. All right. All right. Moon says, you can't beat me. I have 100% win rate when I'm dueling. Daniel says, class has ended, but I need to wait for when club starts, which is an hour. And you're going to, is this when you do your uh, programming club or coding club, Daniel? Um, Moon is, is an incredible streamer. It's true. It's true. Um, all right. All right. This dual thing. It's a lot going on there. There's a lot going on there. All right. So we're logged in. We're in Leonardo. Jamal says it's clubbing club where they go, where they, are you sure it's a, for clubs and not, not, not for whacking the whacking type clubs? <laughs> Moon is, yes, the duel is taking over the chat. The duel is taking over. Maybe I should set it up. So I think I can hang on. I can set it up. So there's a uh uh a, let's see here refresh hang on hang on give me just a moment duel user cooldown all right we're gonna put a 120 second cooldown on that so there's a two minute cooldown <laughs> tawny says just still 500 points from moon is feels good oh daniel wants to to challenge the captain all right, what do I do? Wants to do it. You can accept. All right, let's check it out. Um, the captain won the duel, Daniel. We got gotcha. you. We got gotcha, you, Daniel. <laughs> Darn. Darn, that's okay, Daniel. That's okay, Daniel. You'll you'll just have to you'll have to try again another time. But good luck next time, my friends. Okay, here where we go. We're gonna generate a stompy face. We're gonna generate a stompy face. AI generation. Um, angry uh, stone face with googly eyes. Scowling, scowling. Um, a uh, angry stone face with googly eyes. Scowling um, with mouth uh, growling. All right, let's try Let's see what this looks like. See if this gives us anything we can use. Jamal says, Leonardo is so nice. I've been loving it. I've been loving it. I'm glad I got into the early access. Yeah, I said, will I be a good, well-known game dev in the near future? The 8-Bolt says, oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh, this one's, some of these are good. Some of the I like this. I like this. We're going to see if we can make this one work. Look at that. Look at that face. Jamal says, will it draw a womp from Mario? Let's try. Let's see if it'll draw. Uh, uh, thwomp from Mario. Let's see what it does. Let's see what it does, Smap. We're about to find out. Um... Check prompt magic as well. What is, oh, we'll check prompt magic. We'll give it a try. 
That's interesting. I'm amazed that it was it did that. It drew Mario, not Womp or Womp. That's interesting. That's interesting. All right. <laughs> We're gonna try a prompt magic with the angry stone face with googly eyes gone with mouth growling. All right, let's see what that's. I really like this one. We're gonna download that real quick. Save it. Um, AI art. Uh, stompy face one. All right, we're gonna see if we can make that work. All right, let's see what it. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. One second, I hit the wrong button. Perhaps cap cool. The cap cool. Um, this is what it did with the prompt magic on. These aren't cool. I liked this one because it was like a texture. It worked out well for me. That it, I didn't have to specify like as a texture or something like that. There, I wonder if there's some check boxes somewhere. I'm pretty new to it. I'm pretty new. Daniel says good enough. Good enough, Daniel. If you keep at it, maybe you'll be well known someday. I, you know, what what did Emily Dickinson? Emily Dickinson. I don't know if anyone knows. Emily Dickinson wrote a poem that was like, "Why would I want to be famous?" And then when she died, all her stuff got published. She did not want to be famous, which is fascinating to me. How famous she is. Um, eight ball. Tony says eight ball. If I try hard enough, will I really become a firebender? <laughs> Outlook not so good. <laughs> Oof. Not so good. Sorry, Tony. Sorry, Tony. All right. We got to come in here. We've got our sprites. And... Yeah, Smab, absolutely. I think I think it's really, these ones came out really cool as actual objects, if you could write it. So I think there are programs that you can give objects like this that will turn them into like Blender files. So that would be really interesting to take one of these and pass it into one of those programs and say, like, can you make a 3D model about it? I think that would be really cool. Um, yeah, Prop Magic works nicely, Dramulks. I, I think so. So what you're saying, yeah, Tani, Tani asks, 8-Ball, what about the Avatar? And the 8-Ball says, who knows? And so Tani's like, so you're saying there's a chance? You're saying there's a chance. Excellent. Excellent. All right, we got our stompy face. We're going to add that in there. We're going to see if we can get that. I put it in the wrong space. Wrong spot. Put it here. Drop it in. Oh, no, I didn't mean to move it. I meant to copy it. All right, here we go. Stompy face. We're going to see if we can make this a texture All right. what ha what does this stompy face look like on this here all right so we've got to adjust it a little bit got to adjust it a little bit there might be an easy way to do it there might be an easy way um stompy face repeat Clamp. Clamp's not what I want. I want it to be, all right. So I know I can make it so, okay. I think I need to do this. I need to make it so that it um, resizes. Reset, people checking their watch time. People having fun with those commands. I'm glad, I'm glad they're getting used. Well, <laughs> Daniel asks, will I be the next avatar? The straight eight ball says, I think so. Aw, heck yeah. Heck yes. Um, everyone checking their watch time. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. All right, so I wanted to make it. Um, there's like a slice thing I can do. I know I can do it with sprites. All right, hang on. If I do it with sprite, single. Can I still put this on things? Okay, so if I do, let's let's look here. Let's clear out the stompy face um, texture. Can I set this reset? Reset. If I do that, can I still add this to it? I can. All right. So I'm pretty sure I can do something like the following. <laughs> There's so much going on in the chat. All right, everyone. I'm glad. I'm no no problem. Have lots of fun in the chat. I'm gonna say, I think 
tie issue is the UV map created by Prevo it makes it tile like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can set it up so that way it, um, if I go into the sprite, no sprite editor window registered, please download. All right, maybe not what I want. Defaults, I want it to stretch. I want it to stretch. Um, I'm real quick, gonna look. Regular Unity Plane or Quad would have simple UV map. So it's on the actual plane. Can adjust material time lower than one. I want, so I, what I really want is stretch to fit. So I wanna see if there's a way, if, there, if someone knows that off the top of their head. Um, Unity texture stretch to fit. Is there an option? So need to rotate and enlarge. Yeah, you can't stretch fit because it's not how it works. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Um, all right, so do I need to actually rotate it? Um, I need to add it to a material then. Okay, let's add it to a material. This is our stompy face material, um, like that. Do I need to, is there a way to rotate it? Moonit said easiest way would be to use a Unity plane instead and not a Pro Builder plane. Um, oh, and then like scale it up maybe? Um, all right, here. Mmm, mmm. What do I really want to do? All right, let's try with a Unity plane. Let's try with a Unity plane. 3D object plane base. Hang on, Unity Coder is making a suggestion. Or could check that the UV editor looks like in Pro Builder. All right, how do I get to that? Components, Tools, Pro Builder. Editors, Open UV Editor. Here's our UV editor. Um, can I? <laughs> Just changing the wrap mode in the texture. This sounds easier. I tried that. That did not. That that did not work. Um, at least not the way I wanted it to work. Right, so. Zoom out to view the, oh, oh, here we go. Can I, all right, so here's my UV map. Actions, I want to fill the whole white square with the texture. Yeah, I don't know how to move this. Do I need, so, so I, oh, okay. I'm trying to figure out how to do anything. Cause I can't, it won't let me move the texture as far as I can tell. Um, can I rotate it? All right, so I could, all right, I guess. <laughs> um, select all. Oh, oh, this is an idea. Scale. Ah, scale. Scale and rotate. What I'm finding interesting is I would, it'd be much easier to grab this and move it if I could. But yes, I can select everything, scale and rotate. All right, so my offset should be negative. All right, zero. Uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, oh, uh, 0.5, why is this one less? All right, and then my offset would be point, negative point, negative one, negative one, <laughs> 0 0.5, um, Daniel asks, wait, didn't you have a dog redemption? Yes, Daniel, I used to, but it turned out my dog really didn't like it, and so I felt bad for my dog, and I took it off. 
so yes, yes, I did. Um, but it was not healthy for my dog, unfortunately. So I went ahead and I did take it off. All right, so now let's see if we can rotate this. That did... <laughs> Oh, did you see how it liked to rotate it? All right, can I go back to what I had? Undo the rotate. Oh no, the undo doesn't work. The undo doesn't work. Can I redo? Redo. Um. Oh boy. The rotate. All right, snap, snap back. All right, hang on, hang on. This UV map got all the, uh, I can't redo. There's no redo option. Um, yeah, so we'll set, all right, select all. Rotation, zero. All right, scale, I'm gonna scale it again. Offset was point, oh, one, negative one, and negative one. Um, our scale was point five, point two five, and um, if you change fill mode, what does that do? Fill mode stretch fit fit all right hang on zero zero can i make it so okay so this thing has like four can i make it so that there's just one um stretch so what it's do okay okay um what i want to do then jackie my friend welcome back with your beautiful emotes jackie i'm so happy that you're here to witness me trying to do a thing um, you should be able to weld vertices, I believe. Okay, so I think over here, all right, if I select, need to combine these together somehow, so I should weld. I wanna delete this vertice. Um, can't you just delete three? Did you turn off autofocus on the camera or whatever it's called? I don't know. I don't know. All right, so I wanna combine, can I combine faces? um you should be able to weld vertices all right but what does that mean i don't know what it means weld weld merge select vertices that are within a specified distance of each other um collapse uvs so like this middle one all right all right we're working on it. We're working on it. We've almost got it. We've almost got it. It's just tiling too many times because only half of you. Oh, oh, my auto foot. I didn't see my, my, I got you. I got you. I'm back. Daniel, thank you for letting people know I was off screen. It is an option. How many devices? Okay. All right. All right. So we're going to come back to our, let's come back here. It's like the face. Can we edit shape? Reset shape, cuts, zero, zero. Can I do that? All right, let's try that. Pro Builder, editors, UV editor. Oh yeah, Unity Coder, we gotta set it. All right, there we go, there we go. Okay, so now we have one face, which is what we want. We're gonna, I hit something weird. Why is this this way now? Face. I no longer have the, the scale options. What did I do? What did I do? Convert to auto. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you, stretch. Okay, and now I want to rotate. Now we can rotate. Yes, all right, we did it. We did it, easy, non-trivial. Easy, trivial, it was trivial. 
Look at our face. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. 20 seconds, got it done. Thank you everyone for, all right. So I know that was probably incredibly painful to watch. I'm sure that was incredibly painful to watch. And for your suffering, for your, SMAB, exactly. Simple, ro simple rotate and enlarge. It doesn't matter figuring out how to do it. For your suffering, 100 points to everybody's here. All 16 of you who are watching me suffer. Watching me suffer. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you had to witness that. So the cool thing is though, when I when I make a little video for my students on how to do this, this will be like 70 seconds. They'll get it in, in 70 seconds. It'll be really nice. Um, it's all about figuring it out and learning the tool. That's why I'm here. I'm learning it out. I'm learning it out. I'm figuring it out. I'm learning it out. Is it learning it out or figuring it out? Either way, no big deal. We're gonna put a face on this side and a face on the other side as well. That texture's cool. That came out really, really nice. All right, so face, uh, face one, and we'll make a face two. All right, so face two, we want to move you to the other side, and we gotta flip you around. We gotta flip, flip, flip you around. All right, so then, is it this one? Zero, nope, not that one. This one, 90, nope. Oh, the point of rotation. All right, I'm just gonna make a new face. I'm just gonna make a new face for, for sanity purpose. How many users are needed to UV map a plane? 16 exactly, Unity Coder. Um, oh, Smab is saying I should add in arms? That sounds non-trivial. <laughs> you know I can't do anything non-trivial. It'll be a whole endeavor. I think arms would be cool. We'll, we'll save that for the end. I want this to rotate. Can I change the way the rotation axis here? We're just gonna add another face. All right, we're gonna new shape, add another face here. Oh, I didn't zoom out enough. All right, add another face, boop. And um, I want to, needs to come this way so that five, one, there we go. And then let's put that same stompy face on there. And now we know how to do this. We know how to do this at this shape. Plane settings, zero cuts. Look how easy it is now that we know. Now that we know, zero cuts. And then we go, give me that, give me that UV editor. Oh my goodness, what did I do? Select the face. What? Oh, I have the cube selected. Hang on, hang on. Uh, did I mess up my cube shape? No, no, I just didn't have the... Oh, here it is. Here it is. Face. Face two. All right. Did, all right. All right. Here we go. Pro Builder. Editors. UV editor. Now that we know. All right. We're going to go scale this boy. Scale that face. Um, stretch, rotate, perfect. And we got ourselves, we've got ourselves a stomper, a stomper. Uh, we might add some, we might add some hands on the side or you, maybe I get a texture. It's Smab, are you suggesting I get a texture that's just arms on the side? Cause that, that seems like something I could do. Um, I'm gonna leave it at this for now. I'm gonna leave it at this for now. So now we got our stompy stompers in. We're gonna go into our prefabs. We're gonna make this a pre, prefab. Um, create folder enemies. All right, create prefab. Our prefab is just stompy stompers in. Drag it on out. Now we got this, we can add a script to it. Can add a script to it. But yeah, we got our cube. We got our cube stompy. What does it look like in game? I'm just gonna look the exact same, but I just gotta see. I just gotta see it. We're in an hour and 25 minutes actually. I probably should take a break here. Should probably take a break. Look at that. Look at that horrifying face. It's the, it's an idle idle stone. All right. All right, there we go. We got ourselves a face. 
I'm gonna take a quick break. I gotta get some coffee. I know, I know I'm at, look, look folks, I'm out of coffee. There's no coffee in this, in this mug. And I need a fuel backup. There's a little bit of water left in here, not much. But I got a fuel up. We're gonna come back. We're gonna come back. We're gonna, we're gonna finish making out our stompy stomp person enemy. We're gonna get it to crush us. Um, which horrifying face is John's green? Smab, you know what I'm, that's what I should have done. I should have taken a picture of me. Put my face on there. That's what we should have done. Yeah. That's the ticket. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get some coffee. We're going to be back. Hang tight. Hang tight. We're going to do some stretching. Get yourself ready. If you're not ready to stretch while I'm getting coffee, get yourself ready to stretch. Get your mom. Get your dad. Get your cousin. Get your uncle. Get your dog. Get your siblings. Get your friends. Get your coworkers ready to stretch with me. Cuz that's what's coming up next. Stay tuned. I shall return.
All right, we're back. We got ourselves a freshly brewed cup, piping hot, piping hot cup of Don Francesco's world famous, world renowned butterscotch toffee coffee. Black, black, no cream, no sugar, just black. A little too hot to drink though. So it's a little, little, just a little too spicy, a little too spicy to drink at this moment. So what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some stretching in first, let our coffee cool down, give our bodies a little TLC. Tani, you can eat and stretch at the same time. The only thing that's stopping you is you. The only thing stopping you is you. You can eat and stretch at the same time. If I had something to eat, I'd prove it to you. There's no food in this room though. All right, so everybody up. Everybody up, you in the back. I see you back there not standing up. Get up, get up, get up you. All right, here we go. Here we go, we're gonna do some stretches. Everyone real quick, we're gonna do some quad stretches. You can't see, you can't see me doing my quad stretch, but you're gonna grab, grab your quad. If you can't quite get your quad up, can't quite get your leg up to do a quad stretch, that's okay, you can stretch whatever you think your body deserves. But you should stretch, you should stretch every, you know, I, I read a study. I heard I said it said like you, gotta, you should be getting up and moving every 30 minutes. I was like, oh man, I could do this more often. I, I sort of stick to every 60 to 90 seconds. But we got this stretch. Smab, well, if you were standing up stretching, I wouldn't have to point. I wouldn't have to point. Don't make me turn on the eye filter. Don't make me use my artificially generated eyeballs. Because I'll do it. I'll do it. All right, let that quad down. We're going to stretch legs now. Switch legs, CG gets it. It's a good point. Point, all right, we got that other quad up. We're getting that blood flowing. You should, you, your body deserves to be loved. Take care of your body. When you're sitting there at your computer all day or in your chair playing them video games, playing them video games, you're damaging your body by letting it sit there and all that blood pulling right into your buttocks into your gluteus maximus, you gotta get up off of it. Get on up, get on up, get on up with the captain. Get on up. Tani, did you set your sandwich down, my friend? Are you stretching with me? I'm on, I see you back there eating. I see you back there eating. Your, your food can wait, it'll be there. It'll still be there. All right, bring it down. We're gonna do a calf stretch now. Do a calf stretch, ooh, yeah. It's in a calf stretch. Ooh, that's nice. We're gonna hold that for 30 seconds. All right, Tani. Excellent. Tani is stretching. Stretching. Good, good. I'm glad you're stretching. That goes for everyone out there who's not stretching. Call your mom up on the phone. Say, hey mom, we're gonna stretch. Captain wants me to stretch. Stretch with me. Get your friends, get your family. Get your coworkers in there stretching with you. All right, we're gonna stretch one more time. Switch legs. Going to the other leg now. Oh yeah, my right leg. That one feels really good. If it hurts, you're stretching too hard. If it's hurting, if it's hurting, back off a little bit. You just want it to feel, you want to feel a little stretch, a little tension there, but it's good for you. Get that blood flowing. All right, take a deep breath with me. In and out. One more time, in and out. All right, bring it back in, bring it back in, shake it out, shake it out. We're gonna do just some little, little body rotations here. Just nice and gentle body rotation. We're gonna do this a couple times and we're gonna get back to it. We're gonna get back to it. It's so good for your body. Get that blood moving, get that flow, get that flow. I'm not asking you to do yoga. Not that there's anything wrong with yoga. I used to do yoga. I haven't done it since I moved. Back when I lived on the East Coast, I'd do yoga. I do rock climbing and yoga. Such a good combo. All right. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me in that stretch. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to hop back into it. And I'm just going to assume, I'm going to assume that all of you out there did, did those stretches with me. If you're here, I, I believe you. I trust all 17 of you that you did those stretches with me. So here's 50 points. Here's 50 points. You deserve it for treating your body so well. You, sh you need to treat your body well. Your body deserves it. You deserve to love yourself. You deserve to love your body. So give your body the love it deserves. All right, and we're gonna hop back in here. We're gonna write some code. 
right, we're an hour and a half into this coding stream and we haven't written a line. We're gonna write a line now. Maybe a few lines. Maybe, maybe not too many lines, but maybe a few. Now it says, for this angle, that block looks like it might be a bit deep for the graphics. From, from this angle, that block looks like it might be a bit deep for the graphics. Yeah, I think it might be a little bit too fat. I wanted to make it be square. Um, but maybe it shouldn't be so long. Um, Tony says, I am sorry, but I'm not able to perform any physical activity because I am an AI language model trained by OpenAI. Tani GPT. Ooh. Aesthetically. All right. Get a nice normal map would be cool. I don't know how to make... I wonder if I could turn that into a normal map. All right, we are going to add in some code. So we're gonna create in our scripts folder, enemies. All right, so my idea, go into our prefab here. My idea, create C-sharp script stompy. It's our stompy script. My idea is there's gonna be two let me two areas that it checks. Hmm, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, so, so our Stompy is going to start up higher. Right, it's going to start up above. If you are. There's gonna be two things. There's gonna be two things. There's gonna be sort of like an outside radius. Um, Samantha, how does the physics engine handle things like mass, density of an object? I think it's cal that's a good question. That's a good question. It, I rather than just shape, I think it uh, it takes the mass and density and applies it to the shape of the object. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so I think it does some calculation. I'm not 100 percent sure. I really, you know, that's a good question. I'm not sure. Um, right. So I think if you have a mass, it, so there's no density here. Oh, it won't squish my marble flat. No, no, that would be cool. It won't deform my marble. <laughs> that would be, that would be really cool. Um, I don't know if that would be that hard to do, right? Cause I could, I could make my marble that would be really fun to do. <laughs> I can make my marble get squished. Oh, that sounds super fun. Is that in the scope of what we're doing? I have my marble get squished down to point one. Oh, man, putting ideas in a madman's head. Um, putting ideas, it will turn into a bean, exactly. That's exactly right. Okay, so what I want to do though, the idea is there's gonna be two, I think I'm gonna do, can I do a circle? Um, Smab is the king of scope creep. All right, so what I want to have happen is I want there to be two areas. All right, so maybe it's a box collider. Um, so, so I want there to be two areas. There's gonna be one area that's sort of close and that will trigger it to fall. Um, and then another one that's just slightly out that's gonna make it so it'll start shaking. The whole thing, if you're close, the whole thing starts shaking. And then if you get too close, it comes down and stomps you. Road to Pro asks, is it possible to make a game by just drag and drop using built-in Unity assets? Um. If you get stuff from the asset store, yes. I don't know if just built in. So, uh, Road to Pro. Let let me let me preface this with I've only been seriously using Unity for about two months, so I'm very very new to it. Um, but I have seen stuff in Le Unity Learn where you have people have provided assets to make it so that you no coding projects. There are lots and lots of no coding projects for learning Unity's interface that are worth checking out. I've used them for young students at a school I worked at last year, or two years ago. Yeah, two years ago now. Tawny Dustuff says, the fact that your name is Smab UK implies 
that different SMAVs from all over the country do this. Well, you know, they're all this. So here's the thing, Tani. SMAB has mastered the multi-form technique. I've been trying to master it for years, but I'm not there yet. SMAB's my Obi-Wan. SMAB has mastered the multi-form technique and has made a duplicate copy of himself for every country in the world. So there's a different SMAB, but they're really the same SMAB. They're all the same SMAB but they they exist in different places simultaneously and it just so happens to be the afternoon right now <laughs> or that my normal smab was taken from twitch well there that, that's that's that seems more likely shadow clone jutsu yeah the shadow clone jutsu the multi-form technique all right so smab i was wrong i was wrong i just always thought that there were many many smabs and you were the one from the Uck. All right, so Stompy, how am I going to do this? We're going to have to have in... Um, I want it to be... Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I want... All right, so our, our guy here, it needs to know how far away it is from the ground. So we're going to get the distance to the ground. All right, so it's going to have um road to pro i hope that answered your question i'm sorry if it wasn't the best of answers but i'm a computer science teacher do not hesitate to ask me more questions or clarifying questions i'm glad to help explore it so Tony says i would have gone with the insane username <laughs> um i like you know smack you're right though smab I, I always say smab i don't say smabuk I don't say smab, you can't, I just say smab. Crazy marble dot enemy. All right, so this is gonna be the namespace for our enemies. And our stompy needs a rigid body because it's gonna use it. So um, require component, Tani wants to duel. Tani wants to duel. Um, type of, Tani defeated smab, bummer. We're not so bummer. I always feel, you know, whoever initiates the duel, I feel like should lose. <laughs> um, fighting, fighting's not so friendly. But Tani, Tani got him. Tani's on, working your way up, Tani. Working your way up. 13th, you're on your way. This one's going to require a rigid body. All right. So let's come into our prefab here. Let's come into our prefab. The prefab. -y. Um, prefab enemies, Stompy Stomperson. We're gonna add in our Stompy controller. Tony says violence is not the answer. It is the question, and the answer is yes. Well, I don't condone violence. Let's let's say that I don't condone violence. I don't condone violence. That said, I have been enjoying watching the Hulk Hogan anthology DVD set that I've owned for many years. I don't condone violence, but I condone, I condone enjoying yourself. And I enjoy watching, watching Hulk Hogan wrestle, WrestleMania taking out everybody in his path. So Stompy Stomperson, uh, we need to get the distance to the ground. All right, so I wanna get the distance to the ground. And then I want it to detect how far away it is from a marble, um, ignoring its Y axis, ignoring its Y axis. All right. So we want to write in a public. Um, we're going to write in a thing here, public um, float distance from distance from um another object so in this case it's going to be a marble entity so we're going to say how far away are you from the marble um our marble entity has a rigid body um so we want to get its rigid body dot position okay but we want to ignore the why all right, so we're gonna ignore, ignoring why, how far away are we? So we got to transform a vector. Should we just do it with vector three? Vector three, um, marble position. 
All right, and we're gonna do marble position dot y equals zero. And we do our own position, vector three, stop E position. And that's gonna be our rigid body. All right, here we go. Tani does stuff, has been falling for four days. Rank 13 in four days. Tani's, Tani's been grinding away. Grinding away, grinding your way up. Mooniz has been created for 12 years. Mooniz has been around a while. He's seen, Mooniz has seen some stuff. Right, let's fix this compilation error real quick. We're gonna return zero for now. And really, I guess I could do a distance from other. Flex Coder says, hello, bro. Hello, Flex Coder, welcome aboard. Welcome to Captain Coder's Academy. Happy, happy Tuesday, my friend. How are you doing today? Um, let's see here. We wanted to get a rigid body. All right, so private, rigid body, rigid body. When we wake up here, um, Flex Coder says, I am Fun Up Gamer. Fun Up Gamer, welcome back. It's so nice to see you. It's so nice to see you again. How are you today? Um, Jesus, so old already. Tanya is saying, Moon News was on Twitch when I was still in diapers. Tanya's been on Twitch for one year, six months. Fabulous. Fabulous. All right. We were doing, um, awake. Public void awake. So when we wake up here, when we wake up, we're going to get our rigid body. Like a so. You changed your name. Gotcha. Well, I like the new name. Flex Coder. Is it because you're you, you're flexing up on everyone? Showing them those extreme, extreme coding muscles? Snap says, pretty new when I started learning C Sharp and Git. And then Tony does that. I spend my whole stream talking to chat and end up making no progress. Welcome to the club, Tony. You, you know, have you have you been to my stream? Do you see how much progress I make? I, I you know, so I feel like I go through patches, right? Like talk for 20 minutes and then code for seven. Talk for 20 minutes, code for seven, and then a three minute break, you know, back and forth. So so coding is like maybe 15% of what happens here. But it's 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 super fun. And I am learning a lot. Um, Tani says, I've never been to your stream. Well, that's OK. You, you're here now. You're here now. <laughs> um, G says you've made a lot of progress in chatting. Exactly. This is this is my social outlet. Yeah, that's it. That's it. My social outlet. All right, stompy position dot y equals zero. Um, and then can I check vector three dot distance between uh, marble position and stompy position? All right, and this gives me back a float, right? Yes, so then we return this. All right, so we have to zero out the Y because I want it based on that Y position. And we're just going to have two values. We're going to have one that says um, drop distance. All right, so we're going to have two values here, public float um, shake distance. This is how far away it's going to be when it starts shaking. Uh, get private sent. And we'll make this serialized field and we're going to start it's it's um the size of it's three so let's try setting this to five let's see what that looks like and then we'll have its drop distance public float drop distance we don't want it to drop we want you to be able to get it to drop without being directly under it so i'm gonna set it's drop distance to 3.5 and see see what that looks like the idea is we check how far away we are. And if we are, we're gonna call drop. So there's gonna be two other methods we have to be able to do. So we're gonna have a private void drop. And then a private void, um, maybe drops a coroutine. Yeah, drop might be a coroutine. All right, so we need one more thing um, here, which is public float. Um, stop uh or or stomp delay so this is 
how long after it drops, how long it's going to stay there. We'll do one second and then we'll have another one public float. Um, this is how long it takes to get back to the top. Uh, float up um, time. Float up seconds. All right, so we'll set this one to be, it's gonna take three seconds to float up so you have time to get through it. All right, Tani says, uh, last time I was explaining what moves I want the sword to do and I was explaining it with a comb. Yeah, I saw that. You are swinging it around, slashing, stabbing. And the Wounded Gamer says we add the comb to our game. So I'm going to make a comb today. Ooh, a comb weapon, the almighty comb. So you can comb your enemy's hair and then destroy them. Um, Tony says, so I'm going to make a comb today. Are putting rain in your game, making marble slip away. We make an ice, ice bomb. There is one text, there, there's one, one material we did uh, in like level two or level three, where it's like a slick material. It's an icy material. Turned out it wasn't that hard to make, which was cool. Smab, exactly. Lots of sharp points on a comb. I have a comb right here. Look at that. That's dangerous. Is that coming at you? All right, everyone, real quick. If, if you had a comb coming at you, sha, sha. You got to be careful with it, though. You know, it'll cut you right up. Ooh, that is sharp. Dangerous. Dangerous that we even let these around our hair. So we're going to serialize these so we can adjust these. But our stomp delay is how it's going to drop down, stomp, float up. Um, and we need, all right, we need one more bull here. Um, is dropping. It's going to be false. So we only drop if we haven't dropped yet. So we go to when we go to drop, I'm going to make this a co-routine. I enumerator. Um, and it's going to fall. And then at the very, very end is dropping is going to be false. So here we're going to do um, animate fall. Um, then re yield return um, new wait. Wait for seconds. Uh, stomp delay then float up and then uh, Yield, return, new, wait for seconds, um, float up seconds. Like that, I think. Let's see here. Tani says, sharp enough to taste the red juice of my enemies. It's the PG-12 PG version of, of blood. Um, Aishiru says, are you putting any special marbles in the game that has special features? Well, the marble that we're, the marble that we're using is very special. It's a very, very special marble. All right, real quick. If you want to check it out real quick here, let me get, let me get this linky link. If you're on the discord, if you're on the discord, we have this nice little community if You're on the discord. There is a link. So you can play what we have so far on, on the itch on the itch our marble is very special already um but it would be nice well, someone suggested making it so you can make skins so if you want to you can come play it on here it's a little bit the mouse controls are sensitive and inverted but our marble can jump can, do you know any marbles that can do that our marble is special it can jump that makes it very very special it can jump it can jump it can boost it can also boost, which is makes it even extra special. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So as of right now, the current game, Shiru, the current design document we have, um, we don't have plans as of right now in our current design document to make a second marble. But I think that'd be really cool. I think that'd be really cool. If you would like to, on the Discord, we have a marble suggestions forum. Feel free to post that suggestion there. So I don't forget, because I think that'd be really, really cool. Um, it'd be gold marble. It's like Sonic, like Sanic. You become super Sanic um, when you get to the end there. All right, so our stompy distance, we wake up. Um, we can drop. So, so we're going to have to do something a little bit different. So we want to figure out how far since 
uh, a drop distance, drop speed. We need one more thing here. Public float drop speed, drop seconds. So how long did it take to get down? Private set. We're gonna go with 0 0.5 seconds. It's gonna drop fast, I think. That might be too fast. Um, but we need to have a distance to ground. Drop distance. Oh, do I already have drop distance? Drop distance is gonna be calculated based on how far away it is from a ground though. Um, so I'm not sure that 3.5 makes sense. Of, of course, maybe when we start up, we, we say, okay, we'll move yourself up. Um, but we're gonna do a ray cast down and set ourselves to be that far away from something. Drop distance feels like a weird, this this thing I think should be a ray cast. Um, sh oh, 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 drop distance, this, okay. All right, I confused myself. Um, this is gonna be distance from marble when Stompy begins to shake. All right, this one is distance from marble when Stompy stomps. Okay, um, all right. this is how long after we fall, it's gonna wait that long before floating up. This is how long it, it falls. Um, Ishari says you can put a feature like Mario when its size becomes twice. I could do that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tani, wouldn't it be that hard to, to change a texture? Someone had suggested creating like customized textures, which I think would be really, really cool. Um, that's a good idea. Smap says, why not name it this? Because that would make, that would make too much sense. Um, stompy, stompy, stompus. Uh, a stompy, stompapus. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with stompies. Multiple stomp, mul the, the plural of stompy is stompies. Ooh, a stamp collection. A stamp collection, yeah. Stamp collection's the plural. All okay, right, so we got a stomp delay. Drop distance from marble, I like that better. Um, then I don't need these, these, the, I don't know why. Maybe I can leave those documentation common. Drop seconds, how long it takes to fall. We need to calculate public. Uh, this is gonna be, um, I guess it doesn't matter. Public. Vector. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Private. Vector. Three. Um, start position. So when we start up, we're going to our start position. Private. Um, ooh, Tani got, got the, the, <laughs> The spot hates me. Tani got got by our stream elements. It's trying to prevent the madness. Tani yelling into this void, yelling the stompies are invading. This is code red. Beware of falling concrete walls in all caps. But you got God. You got God. I'm sorry, my friend. I'm sorry, my friend. Um, this is going to be its start position and its end position. So these are the positions. It falls to one and then it comes back up. So we got to calculate those when we wake up. So our start position is going to be equal to um, our start position. Yeah, it, it contained more than 80%. Tony says, my humor is too advanced for stream elements. Mine too, mine too. I've noticed this. I've noticed that I'm just too hilarious for stream elements. I think it's jealous of us, Tony. I think stream elements is jealous of how funny we are. We could be a stand-up comedy duo, but then Stream Elements would ban us. If only, if only Stream Elements would let us be a stand-up comedy duo. All right, so this is gonna start with our start position. So we transform dot position. Um, but only the cap can use eighty percent caps. Ooh, good point. Good point. So our end position. I need to calculate. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the following. I'm gonna try using a ray cast to to find our end position. 
And then we're gonna see what that looks like. My guess is that this is gonna be from some weird spot. Um, so our rate, we're gonna ray cast down, find the platform, and that's how far we're gonna fall. And so part of me feels like I really need to have it ray cast from the, the bottom of this thing. So I'm gonna, for convenience, for convenience, I'm gonna create an empty here. This is gonna be our, our bottom position, bottom, center all right and i'm gonna try and get this to be at the why is this this is interesting stompy center center our center's so so far away can i make this all right real quick oh no that, that that's correct this is the center why is why is this way over here why is that way over there Is it, hang on, if I press. I'm confused now. Um, Tony says, you're already a stand-up comedian. How, with how you crack those jokes and stream well standing. Oh, you're right, I am standing up. I am standing up. I don't know, C comedian's a strong word. Comedian's a strong word to describe me. Um, this feels incredibly awkward. Uh, the position here, is this, I'm so, so confused. I'm so, so confused here. Can I please zoom, zoom. Is this position zero, 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 or is this position zero, zero, zero? I don't know. Um. I'm baffled. I'm baffled. All right, we're gonna put this as a subcomponent of our cube, and then hopefully we'll figure it out. So if we put it as a subcomponent of our cube, we can actually sort of move it into the bottom. So it already is at the bottom there, but I want to be in the bottom center. Yeah, it does seem really far away from the parent object, um, <laughs> which is slightly troubling all right but let's put this we're gonna eyeball this into the center we're gonna eyeball it into the center Is that the bottom i think it's at the bottom it's bottom enough ah why am i so bad all right all right so that looks good enough to me so this is the position we're gonna do our ray cast from so this is our bottom center Fall Rule Game says, hello guys, I am late again. No worries, Fall Rule Gamer. No worries, we're still here. We're here for at least another hour. We're at least another hour here. We're gonna see if we can, we finished one goal. We designed our level seven. We're hoping to get a, a Stompy Boy in and then a Jumpy Boy in. Um, although at this point, it looks like Stompy Boy might be all we get today. We're gonna try it. Um, can I move this? This is why I'm confused because this, this says center. All right, let's move our cube to center. All right, we're gonna try something here. Hang on, hang on, I have an idea. I have an idea. Put those relative, all right, all right, there we go. Now all my problems are solved. Did you see me come up with that solution all on my own? All on my own. I don't need nobody. Moon is over there thinking he knows the solution. But I figured out all on my own. All on my own. Here we go. Since I figured out all on my own. Add points. Uh, the Captain Coder. Give myself 100,000 points for solving it all on my own. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Here we go. 100,000 points. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Donnie, it should have been me. If only someone had known how to recenter that, then I, you would have gotten 100,000 points. You would be, you'd be rolling in it right now. Okay. All right. So we have our cube. We have our bottom center. So in our stompy stomper sin, we're gonna add in here a um, private 
private um position um transform bottom center all right so we're gonna add a transfer our bottom center we're gonna serialize it so we can set it in our editor serialize it and set it in our editor put it down here it's right, so our bottom center uh like like so all right so by serializing i have this little slot here we can drag that in to our bottom center there we go and now we can use that to raycast from to figure out how far we need to drop how far do we need to drop from this we're gonna do a ray of physics Ooh, maybe this shouldn't be on awake because other elements might might not be awoken yet um if i do it on awake i might want i want to make this sort of run last so here here's the thing uh, do all of the physics uh, anyway um, <laughs> jumped right to number one. Exactly. Who's number one? I'm number one. Moon is, you'll be my number two. Like uh, Star Trek style, number two. Number two, take control. Take control here. All right, here we go. Physics.raycast. We're gonna cast down. Our origin is our, um, our bottom center dot position vector three dot down um we need to add in our we need a ray cast ray cast hit hit like this and we're gonna do our out hit to get that so we're gonna get how far away it is <laughs> oh no time to commit sudoku sudoku feels bad man all right is there a way i can hang on hang on here let me make you all feel better let me make you feel better one moment one moment let me hang on hold on everyone holding on are you holding on yet are you hanging on please hold hold please are you there are you hanging on just a second please hang on hang on i'm getting it i'm getting it give me a moment give me a moment here we go here we go captain hey, wait are you holding on here we go here we go all right all right there we go you feel better you feel better <laughs> gotcha gotcha all right we reset myself we reset myself now everyone can go up a position somehow i'm still 307 with zero points which is nice to know nice to know one let tawny has defeated the captain tawny has defeated the captain so hit dot distance i want to so our distance should be um end position all right so we're going to start out with our end position is equal to our transform dot position as well and then our end position dot y is going to be equal to um and can i do can i do a plus equal here i don't think i can hey i can i think it's either plus equal or minus equal i think it's minus equal because it's gonna be the distance down uh to it so let's let's just let us serialize these so we can see what they are all right i'm really really curious what they are and if that will be sufficient so let's come back to our scene We've got a our stompy boy has been blown off to off off course because we changed its center. All right, stomp, stomp, stompy boy. He's a stompy stomperson. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm really, really curious. If I hit run here, can it find the start and stop position? <laughs> it has gravity though all right so this our stompy stomperson let's come back in here um it has a rigid body it's kinematic does not use gravity all right all right let's give that a try the stompy boy okay so it starts up 
Oh, I can't move. I'm not in sane view. Hang on. Um, I wanted to check in our Stompy. It's end position is negative four. So if I were to set this, is that where we want it to be? Yeah, look at that. That worked out really nice. So it's start position and it's end position. So now it should automatically detect where it's start and end position are when it spawns. It says, all right, where's the ground? So now I don't have to manually figure out that transition. All right, it's, when it starts up, it will figure it out on its own, um, which I think is beautiful. Do you think it's beautiful? Is it a beautiful day in the marbles neighborhood? It's a beautiful day in the marble hood, a beautiful day in the marble hood. Won't you be my marble? Here we go. All right. So now I need to make it. So instead of drop here, um, the moon is, I feel like this neighborhood looks a little bit dangerous, a little bit dangerous. Yeah. But won't you be my marble? <laughs> Tony says, you're weak. You're weak. This is why I'm coming for you. Moon is you're weak. You're too weak. All right. So our drop here, maybe not this. Um, drop instead, all right, so drop isn't going to be our, um, drop's just going to be the thing that we, we call when it's time to fall. And what it's going to do is going to be is dropping equals true. So we'll say if, uh, is dropping, is all going to be set dropping to true? Is dropping... Um, if it is dropping return, all right, so it's just going to set is dropping to true. And then our fixed update, we sort of need to figure out what our position is. Ah, is dropping is, is true. And then we also are going to say, uh, drop started is time dot time. <laughs> Moon is, I might be weak, but I have more points than you. Tony, not for long to mark my words. All right, Moon is taking notes, taking notes, adding you to Moon is just at Tani does stuff, add it to his little book there, his little book, keep an eye on you. All right, so we also have to add in a state here. There's a lot of state here. I'm gonna, I think I might have too much state going on this. Um, drop started. All right, so we're gonna have a drop started um, is equal to the current time. Okay, so now in our fixed update, our fixed updates, um, public void fixed update. This is where we got to move our marble. Not not move our marble. Jesus, too many. The steak is too much. The steaks are too high. I should have some steak for lunch. If you eat the steak, G, it reduces the steaks. So I like where that logic's coming from. If, if the stakes are high, you got to eat the steak to reduce the amount of stakes. Exactly. Tani, I said no political, no political commentary. No political commentary, Tani, with your, with your whole pineapples on a pizza. <laughs> All right. And our fixed update, just for now, we're going to say, if we is dropping, if we is dropping, we need to figure out how far we got to go. Um, so we're going to do, we're going to calculate our distance here. So our vector three, um, we're going to, we're going to do a lerp. We're going to do a lerp. All right. From our start position to our end position. And we have to calculate the percentage progress. Tony says a pineapple pizza pyramid and G signs. G signs. So our float progress. All right. So our progress is going to be. equal to um so we have time dot time this is the current time minus our start not start but start our drop started time let's rename this um start drop time all right so this is the time we dropped it so this is going to give us the number of seconds we've been progressing and then we need to design divide by how <laughs> tani says how do you get italic you gotta get you, you need more points you only get italic after you hit 5,000 points. You only get italic if you get to 5,000 points. 
<laughs> Does this work? All right. But yeah, be careful not to, to do too much spamming. Um, just in case, I don't want to miss the chat, Tani. I know not too many people are talking right now, so it's okay. But if there's lots of stuff going on, I, I don't want to miss the chat. I want people to feel welcome here. But yes, the political pizza. Political pizza pyramid. The political pizza pyramid provides pretty popular pizza. Something with peas. I'm going to try how to italics the whole stream. All right. Very well. Very well. And this is our drop in uh, drop seconds. All right. So divided by our drop second. Okay. And we want to clamp this. So we clamp it in with math.clamp01 like this. Yeah. Geez. Never going to give, never going to give you up. Never gonna give it up. Gonna make some italics. Gonna put them in the Twitch chat streaming. And it says, you will not solve it without Googling. Will not solve it without Googling. Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't Googled it yet. Tani knows how to Google. I've seen you use the Google. The all-seeing Google. All right, so this is the position we want to move to. Vector three, um, updated position. And our updated position, real quick, updated position, um, or or we're just say new new position. And this will be our rigid body dot position equals new position. I guess I don't need this intermediate variable. We can do it this way. Right, so if we're dropping, we're gonna do this. All right. So to test this out, to test this out um i am going to set up a delay so when we wake up in the awake i'm going to use invoke invoke for anyone who doesn't know invoke is part of unity a uh, unity game object you can basically call invoke and say call some method later if you're familiar with javascript it's like set timeout um so we're going to call our our drop method that's this one here our drop method after uh, two seconds. So give me time to move my camera so I can watch it drop and we want to see if it works there. All right. Jesus, don't worry. You're going to take the whole stream to figure it out. All right. So here we go. Tani created the caterpillar of truth to keep you going. One Mississippi, two Mississippi drop. Ooh, that drops lame. It needs to be way faster. Let's go to one. Needs to be a fast drop. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, thwomp. There we go. There we go. And then it'll pause and move up. That, that worked out pretty good. Maybe, maybe point, let's try point 15. Point, point one five. Tony says, I don't think a sleeping dev can invoke. I don't think he can type code at all. That's okay. He's got to wake up. Wait, that's why we got coffee. We call it, we call this our programmer fuel programmer fuel in this cup here you take caffeine you, you put it inside of a programmer and it converts that caffeine into code converts the caffeine into code all right we like this we like this a lot so the drop seems to be working the way we want to um and it, after we reach the bottom so if we is dropping if we reach the bottom um we're gonna we're gonna set a timeout all right, so is dropping is going to be false. Is that right? We want to set a timeout for it to start moving back up. All right, so in, in addition to drop, we're going to have a private void um, retract, um, which causes it to move back up. Is that right? Cause it to move back, so it's going to fall. After it hits the bottom, it's going to move back up. So it should... Mm. Mm. Let's see here. Let's see here. Retract. Do I really want more state? Can I do this without? I guess I might need to add in a little bit more state for if it is retracting. We or we can have a delay that says we can't drop until we've reached. This is interesting. 
feel like I'm making this slightly too much state and too complex. There's so much here. All right. We're going to do this real quick. And I'm going to see if I can think of a slightly. I'm going to be reevaluate the complex though. It is retracting. Because this feels like I, I should have three states. Dropping, retracting, and waiting. Um, and by adding in multiple Booleans, it's like I'm, I'm making the logic complex. It'd be much nicer to say, well, if I'm dropping, do this thing. If I'm retracting, do this other thing. And if I'm waiting, do this third thing. So, so there's sort of three states that I can be in. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna create, I'm gonna create a um, in enum enumerated type, an enum. Um, it's not quite enough to use the state machine pattern. If I had lots of more states, I might do the state machine pattern. Um, but I'm going to, and this is really an internal thing. Um, so private enum stompy state. All right, stompy state. We have three states, and maybe I'll do it in one line like this. Stompy state, um, waiting, dropping, uh, retracting. These are the three different states we can be in. Depending on which state we're in determines what we're doing next. All right, so then we have a private stompy state state, and we start out as waiting. All right, um, and we can do using... Can I do a stat? All right, Smab taught me this one. We can do a static import. Can we do a static import? Um, using Dompy static static using uh, crazy marble dot enemy dot Stompy dot Stompy state using static. All right, I can't remember. It's using static. I don't know. Is it because it's a private thing here? Maybe I'll just make it public. If I make it public. Can I do the static using? If I put it here, can I use the static using? How do I use static using? I gotta Google it. C sharp using static. Um, using static feature. What's the syntax? What's this? Using static stompy dot stompy dot stompy state. Okay, it was because it was private. So we have our stompy state. We're going to say waiting. Um, waiting is the default. All right, then we're going to say when we go to stomp state becomes dropping dropping and here we're gonna say if state is not equal to waiting All right, so we only time we can actually drop is if we're waiting then we return All right so if we are if we are waiting we can do this thing otherwise we can't do anything we can only drop for waiting um, retract. I don't even know if we have to have a retract there. Instead, right here, I'm going to say if progress is greater than or equal to one, our state is going to be retracting. So after we've dropped, we retract back up. Um, you think it makes it harder to read in this in this case? Stompy state. For anyone getting the code, this is why I wanted to make it just an, a part of it. Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll do that. All right, we will use that. Retracting. Waiting. Dot dropping. Okay, so we're gonna say if, all right, so we can get rid of is dropping. No more droppings, no more droppings. All right, so we do it. Uh, state is stompy state dot dropping. Uh, Moon is, thank you for that. Yeah, I, you know, I, I not, it's always, it's always hard to know exactly what the best, the best way to do something is. It's one of the things I love about programming is there's lots and lots of different ways to do things. 
Um, it's also the bane of programming, but it makes, you know, there's this level of creativity. You get to decide what and how you want to do it. And there's often multiple correct, multiple correct ways. Declaration be inline. Oh, that makes sense. Um, there we go. Munya says, if someone else would read the code, it would be very hard to understand what dropping is, for example. Is it a method? Is it a state? Is it a field? You're correct. You are correct there. I agree. I agree with you. Um. Smap says, if the context is obvious, the static using makes sense. Otherwise, it's best to specify explicitly. Tony Dusta says, what class do you teach, Cap? He means, oh, I mean, which grade? Um, I work at a, a an independent school that um, has ages 10 through 14. 10 through 14, 100% remote online. Um, in the past, I worked at a K through 12 school. Um, and I've also been, um, when I was a graduate student, I taught some lower level introductory classes. Um, Normal is smaller methods. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. This this isn't that painful and I'm only using it in this one file. So I think it's OK uh, that's there. In my other program, it seemed to make more sense. I think you're right, though. Uh, Tony says, so you're going to be teaching this code to 10 to 14 year olds aspects of this. Yeah. So so this is probably a little bit for that said, a lot of this code isn't that uh, I Pretty much all of my students could write this code, uh, could use this code and understand it. The only thing in this project that I think that they wouldn't be able to is the quaternion stuff, because even I don't quite understand the linear algebra that we had chat GPT generate through us. I understand conceptually what it's doing, but the math behind it, it's been a long time since I've done linear algebra. Um, by the way, linear algebra was one of my favorite classes though, that said. Um, okay. We also might need a state called shaking. I'm not sure, um, but I, I think we can use waiting to get the shaking to work. All right, so if we're dropping, it's gonna go ahead and drop and then we'll switch to retracting. And we also wanna do sort of a, uh, I think I'm gonna change this to be multi-use start transition time. Tony's lurking now, all right, Tony. You have many choices on Twitch when you choose to lurk. I appreciate you lurking here, my friend. I appreciate you lurking here. Um. Yes, man. So we actually wrote the code using sort of a, a semi dumb, um, not, not rotation. We didn't do a linear math rotation. Instead, we manually calculated let me show you real quick. It was really, really cool. Maybe I committed it. I wish I, I hope it was so. Maybe I committed the original one. Um, this was our movement, marble move controller. This code here was generated, but we wrote a different version. Can I see the history? Um, show timeline. Can I view the history of this file? Dang, I, oh, I, okay. So this was our original control, which was not camera dependent. Okay, so we wrote this code. We actually wrote this code, which calculated it. We basically said, okay, we have our marble. We wanna figure out, we, we basically wanted to level out the Y axis and say, go forward on that axis and go right. So we can, we did some, some math here to figure out how to do it without the quaternion linear algebra stuff. And then we, I took this code and I said, I passed into chat GPT and I said, translate, you know, uh, rewrite this code using quaternion. And it did this, it gave us this solution, which, and then we tested it and it worked. So I was really, really happy with it. Um, so that, yes, I agree with you, Sam. This is where AI is gonna be super, super good um, at sort of little simple refactorings like that. So it was really cool that it worked. Um, still linear algebra, but this is this is a, a linear using a linear algebra rotation. Let's say that 
I, I didn't know how to figure out the math to do the rotation. Um, it was still linear algebra, but it, but it was it was like lazy linear algebra. It wasn't doing a, a rotation in, in 3D space. Matrix rotations, exactly. Three-dimensional matrix rotation. I was not prepared to figure out how to do that. Um, all right, so then transition time equals time dot time. Okay. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna break this into a couple components. Private void, um, check, or or handle drop. So this is what we'll do for handling drop. So handle drop. Um, oh, in fact, we should do if. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, do a switch here. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the following. There, um, method is equal to our state switch. And we're gonna say that the method we're gonna use is uh, stompy state dot dropping is gonna get handle drop. Um, and then we'll do method dot invoke. Um, can I not do it this? The switch is does not handle all values. Throw new exception. Oops. Um, and I think I need to tell it that this thing is in action. System not action. Okay. Let us go ahead and add system to our using space. All right. So the action I'm going to take, we're going to select the action using a switch. Um, in the case of a stompy state dot retracting, we'll do handle retraction. And in the case of stompy state dot waiting, we'll do handle wait. Okay. We'll do new exception. Oops. And we'll do the same thing here. Private void handle retraction private void handle weight. So for retraction, we need to first uh, wait this amount of time and then float up for this amount of time. And so what I'm actually going to do um, is I'm going to put a little thing in here that when we reach Let me think, let me think. I kind of want to, I really, really want to just be able to say delay, wait, de do a delay and then go do this thing. Um, can I really, I think maybe I can do a coroutine. So I think I can do a coroutine, void um, drop routine. I can't think of a better name for that. And our drop routine is going to do the following. Um, it's going to call, maybe this is a co Okay. Maybe this is all right. I enumer numerator. This is going to be a co-routine. Maybe, maybe hang on. This is going to be a co-routine. I enumerator. This is going to say drop. Um, can we do a yield return null? What does that do? In, in, does anyone know? So I'm in a coroutine. I'm in a coroutine. If I return null, does that just exit the, I want to just exit the, the method. It waits a frame. I want to exit the coroutine. Is there a way to just stop and say, do nothing? Or do I have to do some sort of check here? I could do this if um stop coroutine okay so it would be 
new stop coroutine. Oh, well, I have to call stop coroutine like on itself. So there's a method called stop coroutine. Stops the first coroutine named. I want to stop the coroutine that I'm in. <laughs> um, it's okay. We're going to do it this way instead. We're going to say if um, state is equal to waiting, we're going to do a thing. Otherwise, we do nothing. All right. So yeah so so i was trying to find a way to like end early i want to end early um anyway if we're in the waiting state we're gonna call drop okay we're gonna call drop and we're gonna do stomp delay so then we're gonna do a yield return new wait four seconds so this is gonna be our, our drop seconds plus our uh stomp delay so the amount of time it takes to fall and then how long we're going to delay and then we're going to start retract all right so we will have a retract here it's going to look an awful lot like this um don't think we need that anymore this is going to be retract and time is you know it's start transition time and this retract so we are going to drop, retract, um, yield, return, new, wait for seconds. And this is our um, float up seconds, float up seconds. And then we will return to state is equal to um, waiting and in fact hang on I, I can just put this all in here I can put this all in here we're gonna do this we're gonna do this I think this makes more sense to read top to bottom of what it's doing state goes to dropping she says well I'm off lurking and doing lunch and changing my bandages Good luck, my friend. Thank you so much for popping in. So nice to see you again today. Have yourself a beautiful Tuesday. Enjoy yourself. I hope your recovery is going well, and I can't wait to see you next time. You're always welcome back, G. Always, always, always welcome back. All right. Um, so instead of that, we're going to say, um, can I start coroutine? Can I start a coroutine with a delay? We're going to do name of, we're just going to name this drop. Name of drop. All right. We're going to start that. And I'm just for testing purposes, I'm going to add in a delay of two seconds here, which we're going to remove momentarily. Um, but our drop looks like this. I don't even need that anymore. It says uh, handle drop says calculate where you're supposed to be um oh thank you thank you moonness that would actually probably cause it nope i do need you i do need the method name um oh oh i can call drop like this you mean yeah that that makes sense that makes a lot more sense um so I can, I can calculate the enumerator and then pass it in. Okay. Handle drop. Drop is essentially the opposite direction. So progress equals divided by our uh, float up seconds. We're gonna rename this to retract seconds. And we go from our end position to our start position. And handle weight just does nothing for now. Handle weight is going to basically say, how far are we from our marble? Where's our marble at? And should we be sh shaking or, or not? That's essentially what handle weight's going to do. All right. Let us come in here. Uh, 
I think I told it, hang on. Can I tell it to go ahead and start it? I did, so it's, it should wait two seconds. It should drop and then it should come back. Let's give it a go. Giving it a go now. One Mississippi two, stop and up. Did it go higher than it was supposed to? Or is that how high it started? Look, it felt like it started, felt like it went higher. No, no, it didn't. It was just my camera angle wasn't in the right, uh, the original spot. All right, cool. So we got a stomper. We got a stomper. We need to make it so that when you get stomped, you die. That's something that we'll have to do. Um, but we're going to make it so if our distance, okay. All right, so if our distance, so handle weight, we're going to say distance from marble entity. So we need to get the, the, the player marble entity. Um, there should only be one, like Highlander, there can be only one marble entity. Um, this is interesting because I want to be able to get it quickly. Um, I have some ideas. Because you might have more than one marble entity, right? So I can I can imagine a situation, multiple, but we're doing no multiplayer. So I'm just going to go with there's only a single marble for now. It should only ever be a single marble. And so I'm going to create a single tin pattern here. My camera lost me. Come on, camera, find me. You can do it, camera. Find me. Find me, camera. There it goes. Okay, so we're going to, for now... We're gonna create a singleton public. Um, public static marble entity instance. We're gonna have a get for it. And then we're gonna have a private static marble entity um, instance. Okay. And get. Um, maybe I can do it this way. Get private set. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll get private set like this. And when this thing wakes up, we say that our instance is equal to this. All right. And we should really have a check that says, can you, there should really only be one. If the instance is already set, we should yell and say, hey, there's already one of these things. Um, so I am going to add in a debug.assert uh, instance is equal to null. I guess when we transition scenes, it'll need to get reset as well. Um, Franaxon. Um, Fran, Franzan. Franzan, Franzan, let me know if I'm pronouncing right. Happy Tuesday, my friend. Welcome aboard. Thank you for choosing Captain Coder's Academy. We're happy to have you here. I am a computer science teacher, so do not hesitate to ask questions. I enjoy when people try and do backseat coding. Um, it helps me be a better programmer when people give suggestions. I, do, I won't always accept your suggestions, but I'm happy to entertain them. So do not hesitate to ask and welcome aboard. Welcome to the crew. Um, we're gonna do this for now. I'm gonna put a little to do to do um, Potentially add warning about uh, Multiple instances, All right, but since I've made this a Singleton I've made it static in my stompy. I can find it now Right, so I can do the fall and I can say um, marble entity dot instance this will give me my my marble then a van over on youtube says hi bro hello hello happy tuesday how are you doing then van and let me know if i'm pronouncing it wrong um i like to try and pronounce names correctly if i can okay we have a marble instance uh float distance is going to be equal to our marble instance here distance from this is from, you know, there's a leaderboard, Tony. You can go check it out. Leaderboard. Like this. And then you can, you can watch yourself 
You can see how far away you are from the next person. Friend Zan says, awesome domain architect for advanced analytics and data at largest FMCG in Africa. Ooh, then you're, then I'm glad to have you here. You can help me become a better programmer. I love to hear it. So Tani, here you are. You're, you're, for, you're below stream elements. Oh, that's going to be a hard one to buy, to get past. Stream elements going to be a hard one to get past. <laughs> but maybe you can do it. Maybe you can do it. But you got to climb the ranks. You're 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 oh, fighting some strong people here. Some strong folks on that leaderboard. Some strong folks. Not, you know, there's a lot of things that shouldn't be in the leaderboard. Well, sometimes life's not fair. So we're gonna say if distance is less than our and then start part two. All right. So if the distance is drop distance from marble. All right, so if our distance is less than or equal to our drop distance from marble, friends and says, I'm watching you while coding. Thanks for this channel of oh, no problem. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. I'd be up. This is what I like to call wake up and code. I started doing streams because I wanted to record some stuff for my students and not have to upload it. Um, <laughs> Smab, Smab in reply to Tony the bot shouldn't be in the leaderboard and Smab says as long as they are above you will allow it. <laughs> yes, friends and I'm so happy that you're here. I love I love doing this. I started out doing it just to record some stuff and uh, and I enjoyed it so much and people seem to be get something out of it. So I'm happy I can contribute to the the what I call what I'm calling the greater good. I hope I'm, I'm hope I'm contributing to the greater good. So we're left in this and our um so for distance if we're we're within the range from our marble and we are in the waiting all right so and uh state is waiting then we're gonna do our drop we're gonna start co-routine start co-routine drop there we go. So if we get close enough, it should drop now. Let's get rid of this in our awake. Oh, we already got rid of it in our awake. We got rid of the delay. All right. So here we go. If we are waiting, if we're in the wait. Um, we are going to check if we're within the marble distance and we drop it off. Tony says life is never fair. Even if you work your butt off sometimes, sometimes someone even if you work your butt off on something, someone with connections and poor skills ends up having it. Sucks even more when they're as good as you and you got in because of their connection. Sometimes you just have to put 10 times effort and still end up living. It's a lesson. Yeah, so, so life is full of unfairness, but we do our best. We do our best. This is why I always talk about setting goals for yourself. So if your goal is to defeat someone else, you don't have a whole lot of control over that, right? You don't have a whole lot of control over who, you know, who's going to be in the stream. You only have control over stuff. So what you can, a better goal would be, I'm going to get to 10,000 points. I'm going to get to 10,000 points. That's something you can achieve. That's something you can, you have control over. When it says, don't work hard, work smart. Hustle culture is bad. Yeah, program, I always like to, I always, I always, I always might say like, well, programmers are lazy. And that's not true. I think programmers are efficient. Programmers try and be efficient. Don't work lazy, work efficiently. All right, so we're gonna see if our handle weight here will trigger. Um, this, 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 let me stutter some more. This enemy has been really interesting to implement. All right, we're gonna move our marble back. See if we can get this guy to drop. Um, hard to tell. Maybe I could do this, all right. Else, if distance, is less than or equal to uh, shake distance from marble and state is equal to stompy state dot waiting. We're gonna debug dot log shake, shake it. Shake, 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 shake it. There we go. Uh, Tony says work efficient. Yeah, when you spend 10 months automating a 10 minute task, every Python program shaking in their boots. But, but did you learn from it? Did you learn from it? You saw how long it took me to put the face on this guy. And now I can do it. Boom, boom, 20 seconds. I can get it done. 
So let's see if we're shake, shake, shaking. Oh, I probably want to make my shake distance further then. Shake, shake, shake it. All right, so we want to adjust that. All right, boom, and it does come down. All right, it will come down, so I think, all right, so let's look here at my stompy stomperson. Um, shake distance, we're gonna increase that to seven. We're gonna increase our drop distance to 4.5. We still want you to be able to roll into it, roll under it. Um, add a camera shake when it falls. I think that would be good. All right, so it would be shaking right now. All right, so, oh, I guess we don't want it to drop. Maybe we wanna wait. Oh, you wanna be able to trigger it. All right, let's try this. I do wanna add a camera shake. Friends, <laughs> friends, and says, hey, be nice to my Python. Pi game, Pi game is the future. All right, so we can get crushed. All right, it would be shaking right now. All right, let's move ourselves up onto this platform just to see if our shake is the right amount. So we're gonna start the game. This level you start eye level at, at, our, our, at our stompy boy. Start eye level at our stompy boy. Pie game is actually really a great way to start. Uh, um, I, I mean, Python's not my favorite language, right? But it's a good, all right, so we would be able to roll, it'd be shaking. All right, so when we get here, it starts shaking. Can we get it to drop? without stomping us we can i think i want to increase that to four uh the drop distance let's make it four i still want to be able to if i'm rolling too fast i want it to get me all right i want it to get me if i'm rolling too fast all right so i can get stomped still but if i'm gentle all right so the idea is i should be able to be gentle gently roll that way if i gently roll i should be able to get it to fall and then as it's going up, I need to make it better. As it's going up, I can get past it. Okay. As it's going up, I can get past it. Let's do 4.5. 4.5. Let's make sure I can still get crushed rolling under it. Zoom out a bit. All right. So I can't, I feel like, what? I, okay. Let's make it drop a little slower. It drops a little slower. Remove kinematic. Oh, I can still have it be kinematic. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. Um, this, let's see. If I'm, does it need to use gravity though? Um, non kinematic ridges no longer supported. Non convex mesh with non kinematic rewrite is no longer supported. So inside my cube, I need to set this to convex. Um, and then these actually don't need mesh colliders. And I'm editing these outside of my prefab, which is um, probably a, a terrible mistake. But let's come back up to here. Let's let's apply all of these. All right. Here we go. Going with the go. All right. All right, here we go. Really, it's just going to crush us. <laughs> all right, I got to, I got to lock it, all of this stuff. All right, we're going to freeze um, everything but the Y position. All right, that was beautiful. <laughs> Um, we can make it nice and thick too. All right, give it a, a big old mass. What we could potentially do is just say turn on gravity. Um, I mean it makes sense. It makes sense, but uh, there we go. There we go. I could potentially just make it start using gravity and have it be nice and thick. Um, let's slow the drop delay just a little bit more. There we go. So if it was high enough, you could even outrun it, right? If you were going fast enough. Um, where did it? 
something something interesting oh i know why i know why in the uh tony says don't forget to flatten the marble yeah that's a well we're gonna we're gonna play with that we're gonna play with that i like that idea um all right our shake feels pretty good we're gonna have it like randomly jitter around or something i'm not 100 percent sure what we're gonna do there we'll have it randomly jitter around um why does it keep going up what is causing let me look at it real quick let me look at our positioning on it zoom out here i got my stompy stomper sense selected it's gonna stomp and then let's move myself away from it stomp again and then it just takes off well i'm just fascinated that it's floating up all right oh i clicked the wrong button i do want it to interact with um the way it stomped seemed correct that time so when it was kinematic it like see i want it to be i don't want it to push me through stuff um oh 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 yeah so i'm doing position all right this needs to be set. All right, move position. Thank you. Thank you, Moonness. We can't just set the position like that. Um, yeah, we want to do move position. All right. Moonness, good eye. Good eye. Moonness, for your contributions. 50 points to you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for your assistance. Tony says, I'm back on my PC now. Welcome to the world of PC. Welcome to the world of personal computing, personal computers. Moon is, look at those points, Tony. Look at my points. Um, let's see here. Crushed. And then it still floats up. All right, Inst okay. All right, we need to do, um, if we're waiting, all right, this is, this feels weird. Rigid body dot velocity equals new vector, just to test this, just to test it, put it at zero. I'm fascinated by this. This is, this is absolutely fascinating. All right, I really want to finish this enemy today. I might not finish it. All right. says, ah, on Discord too, joining, thanks. End of day, so go. Welcome to the Discord, friends, and All right, so that worked it. Yeah, so it is related to, um, that's cool. All right, so if, you, if it comes down, you can get, um, it might block it. All right. So if you get squashed by it, you'll you're gonna get you're gonna get God if you get squashed by it. The distance is it does come down. All right. This is interesting. Yeah. So I have I just made it so that if it's waiting, the velocity gets set to nothing. We can get squashed like that. Um, comes up. Let's try coming back here. Comes down too soon. Let's do this. I think we just got to play around these. I think we're just going to apply. Squash. All right. Come back here. 
There's a, there's a two minute cooldown. There's a two minute two cooldown on duels. All right. So I think I think I'm okay with this. I think I'm okay with this. Let's just apply all of those to our Stompy then. We might play around with it a little bit. I want to make it so when it when it gets you, you get destroyed. All right. So, um, <laughs> when you touch it, so so something that's interesting. Do I want to make it so if you touch it, you die? Or if you, if it squashes, you die. So this is so the simple thing would be if you touch it, you die. And so that's what I'm gonna do right for now. What I'm gonna do for now is if you touch it, you die. And then maybe tomorrow. So I'm at, I'm almost out of time here. We'll make it so that there's sort of this collision detector on the bottom that like will will squash you. It detect, detects if you're getting squashed. And then you can run into it, but you only get killed if you're on the bottom part of it. Um, or maybe. Maybe I, okay, let's go to, all right. We're gonna just get it done. We're gonna get it done today. We, we're gone for another 90 minutes. Maybe I should take a break. Maybe I should take a break and then come back. Um, I don't wanna overdo it on myself. Yeah, we're gonna add a box collider underneath this. Um, exactly, Moonness. We're gonna add a box collider underneath this, um, this guy here. So we're gonna add in create empty uh squash box like that let's for ease oh that's not what i wanted stompy stomperson squash box for ease i wanted to add in a uh cube just so i can get it to scale easier all right just so i can adjust it a little bit easier and we'll make it a trigger We'll make it a trigger. All right, so we're gonna put our squash box like this. Um, scale three, nope, 2.5, 2.45. 2.4, we wanna still be under it. Squash box, there we go. Two point, all right, 2.5. We'll have to play around with it. 2.5, um, this three. We'll just do three. 2.9, there we go. So if you're, you gotta be under, under in it. All right, 2.9, 2.9. Apparently that direction. Uh, uh, all right, we're gonna use, hang on. We're gonna do it this way. We're gonna, we're gonna be lazy about it. We're gonna be lazy. Let me be lazy. All right, squash box. Oh no. Why why is this why are you making my life so hard? New shape cube. V? Can I see? If I make a plane. This is not what I want. I want my plane to be this way. Try again, try again. All right, this was supposed to be easy and now it's much harder. There we go. Make a plane that is the bottom. And then if I hold shift, I can extrude it. Can't extrude a plane. Can I? Oh, if I select, uh, hang on, come back, come back. Redo, redo. There we go, if I select base oh we got to come back to an edit shape reset shape no cuts one face extrude downward all right all right this that was really painful to watch i'm sorry that that was so painful to watch we'll skip 0.95 0.95 all right and this says pro builder yes sir we are pro building it up um point nine point nine and then try and get it to just be centered why can't i why is this so hard why can't i just scale the whole shape whole shape select it select the whole shape point nine Point nine. Oh, I'm so bad. 
I'm so, so bad at this point. All right, we're going to come back, so we'll fix it later. We'll fix it in post. All right, hold down control. Let's we'll turn off the snap. Turn off the snap. All right. Fill in. Feeling not so great about my choices at this moment, but that's okay. Yeah, but this, it is Pro Builder. Happy, uh, happy Tuesday, my friend. Welcome aboard. All right, now we're going to add in a box collider on this. Um, we don't need a mesh collider. We don't need a mesh renderer. Um, we are going to add in... Dis asks, what kind of game are you making? We're, we're making a prototype of a game about a marble where you control a marble here. Let's add a box collider. All right, so this should match. All right, hang on, I gotta add, I gotta turn my mesh back on to add a box collider. And if I turn it off, there we, it's my box, I can't. It's a trigger. All right, so now we have a trigger here on our box collider um good question what kind of game are we making it's a game about a marble the game about a marble let me show you we got a little little demo on it um let me get to the discord here i'll show you a little bit of it real quick i'm i'm right at the end of my stream here so i'm a little i'm rushing a little bit i'm a little bit rushing all right so we got a game you control a marble all right, you can control this marble just a little pro tip i'm exploring physics and so the idea is there's little obstacles it's like a platforming physics e game so physics physics ish based game we got flamethrowers we got pushers we got ledges we got all the excitement all the excitement here all right all the excitement and fun all roll oh a little bit of collision problem there all right but you roll around the goal is to get to the end of the level and uh we're trying to add in a thwompy type monster enemy this guy's gonna crush you you get crickety crushed all right and so this is gonna be our squash box and that in here thank you thank you i'm enjoying this very much and we're gonna add in our trigger behavior nope not trigger behavior trigger a uh, collider trigger and we're gonna say that when we um enter when we enter this, um, let's add a method here. It's going to be public void kill marble. And we're going to say when you, when this enters, kill marble is going to get our marble instance. Really, this is just going to be instance. Uh, sorry, marble entity dot instance dot kill. So the idea here is that if we enter this. Oh, um, this needs to take in a collider yeah so not quite not quite hang on hang on i'm gonna go back not a marble entity that kill there's gonna be a collider other so we're gonna take in the other thing here but yeah this just so you know i'm a computer science teacher this is captain coders academy um i teach computer science i teach programming so i love when people ask me questions so thank you so much for those questions um this is a project I'm building. It's going to be a project for my students. I'm going to create some videos and uh, on um, aspects of it and then ask the students to try and recreate it, add their own flair to it, add their own monsters, add their own obstacles, build their levels and try and combine it together. I'm not sure um, exactly where we're going to run this project. It might not be until um, May or April, but I'm here figuring out how to do it so I can actually make a project. Um, other dot get component. We're going to check if the other thing has a marble entity on it. And in fact, I want to check if the other things rigid body has a marble entity on it. So this will be the marble entity um, marble. And we're going to say if it is a marble. If it is a marble, we are going to kill it. All right, so this question mark says if it's null, just ignore it. Otherwise, call the kill method on it. Um, check squash marble. And what we could do here is we could add a little bit of a thing to make. And we'll do this. I think we'll do it tomorrow. We'll make it so that the marble gets flat when we do it. Um, which right now, it's just going to have it explode. And then right here in our enter 
in our enter, we're going to have here, so we have our Stompy Stomperson, and we're going to call the Check Squash Marble when we enter, and then also when we stay, just, just for safe measure. Maybe we don't need to do it on stay. Let's see if we can get our marble to get squashed now. But yeah, we're designing a level today uh, where we're adding in some enemies. Um, failed creating toolbar element. That's interesting. I've never seen that. Let's try again. That might have just been a fluke. Yeah, I think that was just it was switching. I was in play mode when it got back. All right, so we have this guy here. We should be able to get it to fall if we inched closely to it. Um, we got a null reference exception there, which was not what I wanted. I want to make sure I can roll into it. I can. Oh, I need to set my my ah. That's what's going on. My 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 spot of detection. All right, can I get squashed? I can get squashed. Okay, so the squashing works. I just realized something. When we're checking for distance, this is why my distance had to be so high. We're checking it from the corner of our rigid body. When in fact, we should be checking for it. Where's check? Uh, distance from marble. Shouldn't be our rigid body position. This should be our um, bottom center position. This says, nice. I love teaching too. I don't have C-sharp question at the moment. Uh, just why is JavaScript so weird and Vim so complicated? Why Have you ever thought, all right, have you ever thought that maybe, maybe JavaScript's not weird? Maybe humanity is weird and JavaScript is normal. And maybe Vim's not complicated, but we as, as humans are simple. Vim isn't complicated. We are just too simple to handle it. <laughs> that said, Vim is, is very, very complex. Not complex. The learning curve is intense with Vim. I, Vim used to be my, my editor of choice. I think it has a steep, challenging learning curve. Um, and JavaScript is awkward because it was kludged together to, to meet various needs very, very quickly. Um, and we have sort of, you know, that is that is just tends to be not the best thing. And it sort of stuck. It was useful and powerful enough that it just kind of stuck. Um, but good questions. Good questions. Why questions are hard. I can give you my opinion on why questions. All right. So now I think our distance choice or Stockholm syndrome. Um, for, for using Vim. All right. So now, okay. I don't know what this null thing here is. Line 96. Um, something here. Other dot attached. Oh, oh, can I put a question mark here too? There we go. So we only do this if the other thing has this field. If it doesn't have this field, we don't want to call get component on it. That's what's happening because it's colliding with the ground as well. Um, Tony says you could go to someone with 50 years of experience in using Vim and ask them how to exit Vim. They can't answer. <laughs> 40 cents. Happy sa oh, Saturday. Happy Tuesday, my friend. What's happening, Cap'n? We are making a squashy enemy. I'm enemy to squash us. We haven't implemented the shake. It's supposed to shake when you get close to it. But we've and we've created a stompy stomper and we're making a rolling game um this says i've been using it for years i'm so used to oop being standard like other oop languages um i have uh i've really only been units using unity oh well i didn't make that i've only sort of been using unity for seriously for two months let's say seriously all right so i want to get it to fall i should be able to boop into it um I also, and I get crushed, okay. One thing that's gonna be interesting is I think if I get it to fall, if I try and roll under it right away, technically I can get myself to be destroyed. Um, it's really, really cool, 40 cents. I'm having a great time doing it. If you wanna check out, if you're not on the, uh, on the Discord yet, you don't have to join Discord, but we have a Discord. Um, there's a little link to a demo on the Discord in the, so here's the Discord. Feel free to join if you'd like to. No pressure if you don't want to join. No biggie. No biggie. But uh, there's a there's a course feedback for Crazy Marble. You can go play. You can play the version from yesterday, which is a little bit a little bit different. The the mouse controls are hard. If you have a game pad, the game cat pad controls feel much much nicer than the than the mouse controls. 
Um, Jess, hey, remember we have classes like object or print, never use them. I've used classes in JavaScript. Um, all right, but I think, oh, do I still have this null exception? I thought that would be fixed here. I still have the null exception, hang on. Come on down. Why am I getting this? Object is not set, others attached. What is null here? Can you use gyro on it? That would be so cool. Yeah, so I wanna add in a trackball control. I have a trackball back here uh, that's not assembled. So I have like all the components to assemble a trackball in this box. So I have um, a bunch of arcade stuff in here. Um, switch my face cam real quick. So in this box, I bought all the components to build an arcade machine. All of the buttons, I have buttons, trackball, joysticks. And I, I, I think I wanna make a little controller for it. I think that would be super cool to do. Uh, just haven't gotten around to it. That would be, I think it'd be super cool. Originally I was gonna make an arcade machine using a Raspberry Pi. Um, I wanted to do it as a class project, but I just, again, I haven't quite gotten to it. Um, Tani, have a beautiful day, my friend. Everybody, if you're not following, all right, Tani is, is learning to program, learning to code. Come on back to the stream. If you're lurking, come on back, give Tani some love. Pretty fun stream over there. I, he's only, this will be his fourth stream, I believe. He's only been streaming a couple days. Getting started out, beautiful, fun stuff. Highly recommend it, go check it out. Go check it out. He's learning how to do Unity, learning how to code. Very young, very young man learning. I love it, I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, give him support. So we're gonna do if other equals null. Is this what's going on here? Line 96 here. Oh, this is a field. This is a field. So we're gonna say if other attach rigid body equals null, return. All right, there we go. Let's try that. Trying to get rid of this air. And then I gotta hop off. I've been going a little too long. I haven't taken a break. Um, we took one little stretch break there, which was beautiful and fun and awesome and wonderful. Um, but yeah, if you wanna check out, um, let's check it out here. All right, can, Still doesn't come down. Okay, so I can run into the side. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that I should be able to uh, trigger something dumb if I try and run. Yeah. So if I try and roll under it right away. So what I need to do is disable. Last thing. Last thing. Promise. Promise. I got to stop. I got to stop. I got to stop and get ready for work. Um, unfortunately, not unfortunately. I love my job, actually. But I do got to stop and get ready for work um, here. But we're going to change our... Our stompy stomperson. We're gonna make it so that this thing is only active if we are dropping. Okay, so we want to be able to turn it on and off. We need a reference to it. For now, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of of cheese on it. Not so great code in private. There's so much in here. Private. Oh, I'm in my marble entity. Hang on, hang on, stop. Undo, go back. All right, go back, Stompy. Stompy here needs a reference. So private um, collider um, stomp box. And we're gonna serialize it so we can set it in the, in the editor. So this is our stomp box. All right, it's a box collider. This is our box, box collider, this. Thank you so much for the follow, my friend. I'm glad you're enjoying it here. We're glad you're here. I am on YouTube. I am on YouTube. I uh, have two YouTubes. I have the archive where I, I cross stream to YouTube. All of my my VODs get stored there, hopefully indefinitely. Um, and then I think, do I have another thing here? YouTube, I post challenge videos. Um, gets updated less frequently. I stream almost every day, 7 a.m. Eastern time, um, almost every day. Uh, most days, unless unless something's going on that I can't stream that day. But I, I, I typically stream every day, say, at 7 a.m. Eastern time, so be sure to come on back. But you can go, you can check out all of the previous streams. If you want to see how these things were made, I make probably 97% of it on stream. And sometimes it's get exciting, got to fiddle around with the bits um, off, the, off stream. 
All right, so we have a box here, stomp box. And the stomp box is active when we're falling. All right, so our stompy stomperson has a stomp box. There's a lot of state in here. I got to clean this up. So I might do a little bit of refactoring off stream, but then I'd come back and I'd explain how I refactored it at the beginning of the next video if I did that. I know I'm talking fast. All right. Um, by default, this should be off. And if we are dropping, right, so right here, we will turn it on. So this will be our stomp box dot um, game object dot set active true. Okay. And then once we're done stomping, we set it to false. So this should make it so that I can't get stomped when it's going back up. Can only get stomped if I'm under it. Let's let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at that. So if we're looking at time, it's disabled right now. And if I roll over here, it gets enabled. And then when it goes up, it gets disabled. So I can't, I won't be able to get squashed by by trying to roll under it like that. All right, cool. Okay, we've made a lot of progress today. I'm gonna stop here. Did we finish the Stompy? We almost got Stompy done, but we're gonna do a commit. There's a lot of stuff, new new stuff here. Um, our level save, we're gonna say work in progress, started level seven guards. Look, Smab, I spelt it right. I spelt it correct that time. Started level seven guards, um, began work on Stompy Stomperson. All right, so we're gonna save that, we're gonna commit it. You can find the source code to this whole project as well if you're interested in it. It's on my, my GitHub. Um, so GitHub, Captain Coder, Crazy Marble. It's in the link on the YouTube video. But if you're on Twitch here, you can go find it there. But Smab, I smelt guard, I smelt. I, I can't say spelt without saying smelt these days, apparently. All right, so we got it in there. Thank you everybody for, for hanging out with me. It's been a wonderful morning. Since you made it this far, if you're still here, I'm gonna give everyone here 100 points for hanging out with me all morning. All 18 of you, that's 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 enjoyable. I love knowing that I'm I'm having fun and I hope you're having fun. Um, so thank you so much. Smab's made it one third. Smab is a good programmer. He reads the documentation. He's made it a third of the way through the documentation. Nice work, my friend. Nice work, my friend. All right, everybody, as always, we're gonna find someone to raid. We're gonna find someone to raid. Let's see here. Who do we wanna raid? Who to raid? Let's see who we got. Start, start trying to keep track of who, who we're raiding. Um, any any suggestions on who to raid? Who's what is Gaddy Games? Do I know Gaddy Games? Let's take a look. Oh, Gaddy Games. We raided Gaddy Games recently. Let's go look for someone else. Um, we might do Clayman Dev. I like raiding. The, the newer streamers. I would raid Tani, but Tani's offline. Um, starting a new Unity project. That might be... You got an English dad. I think we're going to go raid Upjump. Check out Upjump. Let's see if Upjump's there. It says dad. The tags are USA, dad, beard, television, TV, movies, English, anime, Unity... All right, Social Gamerlet says they're working on making a game. We're going to check them out. We're going to check them out once this ad finishes. We're going to see if they're in the middle of something. They have been streaming for four hours. It's a long time to stream. It's a long time to stream. Come on, Taco Bell ad. I believe in you. I believe in you. Um, it looks like we're just watching a a TV show on this channel. All right, we're not going to do that channel. All right, we're going to so go see Clayman Clayman Dev because I cannot um we're going to raid Clayman Dev. All right. Clayman Dev has an awesome stream um doing some good stuff with making a game. But we're going to go check out Clayman Dev. Thank you all for being here. As always, keep coding, keep growing, keep building up those skills. I'll be back tomorrow, 7 a.m. Eastern time. Looking for it. Same bat place, same bat time. Have a beautiful day.